Ay, okay. Nak-nak. Bagong Pilipinas, bagong muka. Mga kapabayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiging tewas ng sigahanan, alam ng puso sa dikit mo'y buhay. Upang hinihang tuyang ka ng magiging sa manlulupin, di ka pasisigil sa nagatang tutok sa The University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines believes that the future lies in their learners who can be proud of the USTP brand of quality education. At USTP, academic courses and extracurricular activities complement each other to develop and produce students that are skilled and competitive in the fields of science, technology, engineering, agriculture, mathematics, innovation, communication, and research. This has been the institution's vision since it sprouted from its humble beginnings. In 1927, the Samis Oriental Trade School, MOTS, was built at Del Mar Street, now known as Don Apolinar Vela Street, where Misamis Oriental General Comprehensive High School currently stands. After the Second World War, the school had to be transferred from Vela Street to the present location at La Pasan. After 25 years, Republic Act No. 672 transformed MOTS into Mindanao School of Arts and Trades, MSAT. In June 20, 1952, with Isabelo Sarmiento as its first superintendent, while Isabelo Gachilian stayed as the secondary level principal. MSAT then started opening its doors to enrollees who were interested in taking up the two-year trade technical curriculum. The first time I came over here, hapit na kong back out. The way the school campus appeared, mas backward pa compared to an elementary school in Sambuanga City. Uh, pero in ko, this is a challenge. The students at that time were called Alimpuyao. Eight years later, MSAT was renamed as Misamis Oriental School of Arts and Trades or MOSAT. 
MoSat went back to its former name, the MSAT, and in 1970, MSAT was given the leverage to offer the programs in industrial education in addition to the two-year trade technical, three-year secondary and evening opportunity programs. The Academe offered such programs until the 10th of June, year 1978, when it was converted through Presidential Decree 1431 into Don Mariano Marcos Memorial Polytechnic State College, a name it kept in the succeeding 13 years. By 1979, DMM MPSC has expanded with six satellite campuses established in strategic places in northern Mindanao, namely Alubihid, Medina, Initao, Mambahao, Tangub, and Panaon. Years 1979 to 1989 saw the construction of educational centers, the trades building, cafeteria, athletic oval, and the drainage system at the Lapasan campus. On August 5, 1991, DMM MPSC became the renowned Mindanao Polytechnic State College, MPSC. Kagen de Oro, colleges and universities were not producing the right kind of graduate. And so we had to concentrate on uh, science and technology. In March 1997, MPSC made its mark as the number one engineering school in the country having performed exceptionally in the ECE licensure examinees for the past four years. On February 6, 2006, Dr. Ricardo E. Rotoras, a homegrown product of the institution, was appointed as the fifth president. Under his leadership, the institution attained Level 4 status, the highest distinction in the SUC leveling conducted by the DBM, CHED, and the Philippine Association of State Universities and Colleges in 2007. On January 7, 2009, former President Gloria Arroyo signed RA 9519, an act converting MPSC to Mindanao University of Science and Technology, MUST. Under the strong leadership of Dr. Ricardo Iro Torres, coupled with the institution's unrelenting pursuit for quality education, the home of the Alimpuyao became one of the leading providers of advanced education required for global competitiveness. The population of the students and faculty grew. State-of-the-art infrastructure and laboratories were constructed to cater to the growing demands for quality education. Local and international linkages to agencies and institutions were forged and strengthened. Amidst the rapid growth and challenges of the time, MUST has maintained its Level 4 status as State University since 2007 and continues to be one of the 19 leading state universities in the Philippines. 42 kilometers northeast of Cagayan de Oro City is Claveria, Misamis Oriental, the place where the former Misamis Oriental State College of Agriculture and Technology, MOSCAT, is located. USTP Claveria Campus started as the Claveria Municipal High School in 1963 with a modest 165 students and five teachers under the leadership of its first administrator, the late Mr. Romeo Abilo. In 1967, it was converted to Claveria National Rural High School, CNRHS, by virtue of RA 3781 and in June 1983, Batas Pambansa 402 converted the high school to Misamis Oriental State College of Agriculture and Technology or MOSCAT with Mr. Arsenio B. Gonzalez as its first president. Over the years, unprecedented improvements took place in the form of grants providing more facilities and machine aids. buildings, and faculty training local and abroad. The establishment of the model farm showcasing sustainable upland farming technologies, local and international linkages were strengthened and the accreditation of the existing academic programs. On February 11, 2011, Dr. Rosalito A. Carino was elected the fourth college president and the eighth administrator. industry collaboration. The university wanted to focus solely on science and technology so that we can address the their need of scientists and engineers, technologists, agriculturists in this area. That university that will focus and will give emphasis to science and technology.
technology will be the University of Science of Technology in the Philippines in Cagayan de Oro City. As early as 2011, when the former MUST was still a new university, the advocacy for a bill to transform the institution into a national university for science and technology was already conceptualized. Chad pronounced the need to amalgamate the SUCs and combine strengths in order to pursue common goals. Various fora were held in Region 10 to present the amalgamation idea to the SUCs. The MUST, together with MOSCAT, led by Dr. Rosalito A. Carino, were the only two who responded to this call. Thus, the USTP Bill Advocacy was born, the product of long years of analysis and deep understanding of the Philippine higher education sector and the result of a steadfast desire to contribute to the public higher education reform. It was a brave move towards the unknown with a strong faith to succeed. On August 16, 2016, the Republic Act 10919, establishing the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines, realized this long-dreamt-of National University of Science and Technology here in Mindanao. USTP's presence in the Gateway to Mindanao is expected to boost and maximize the demographic advantages of the island. It is anchored on its framework to contribute to the economic development of the country by directly contributing to human resources through education, technology solutions, through research and technology enterprises, through contributions to the society. The USTP, through its future techno park and government centers strategically located in Lourdes Alubihid, portends to stimulate inclusive growth and sustainable development in this part of rural Philippines and to contribute significantly to the national development goals. Indeed, the University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines has gone a long way, evolving from a technological vocational school and a municipal high school to a national university of science and technology, a nationally recognized science and technology university providing the vital link between education and the economy. This is our vision. This is USTP. Hello. 
Hello. Hi. <laughs> Take it now. Ako sa close up ng Zoom dere. Good morning, everyone. Morning, sir. Hello, ah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, to begin our activity for today, um, let's um, hear our um, our very own engineer Romano Pimentel to give um, the opening remarks. Thank you, sir. And by the way, just an overview for the program for the first day. Um, after the opening remarks, by Engineer Pimentel. Uh, our next speaker will be Engineer French, Maverick Lorelia. <clears throat> and then second is Dr. Consortium Namarco, Namoko. And in the afternoon will be Engineer Jerry Halibas. Next will be Dr. Alien Eugenio San Diego. And lastly will be uh, Engineer Raymond Saldua. So um, let's hear. Uh, opening remarks by Engineer Romano Pimentel. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. Okay. Um, good morning to each and everyone. Um, I am here to give some opening remarks uh, in lieu of our uh, dean, uh, Dr. Pasito, who's not available today. So this uh, Meeting was organized by our very own chairman, Inger um, Helen Gonzalez, to help our students in preparing their uh, thesis. And for such a quiet time, uh, we have been doing this uh, early uh, before the pandemic. Uh, and now uh, I think uh, this is the right time for the students to be well versed and informed on how to prepare thesis. So this uh, two-day activity would be uh, very informative. So I am hoping that uh, we are going to grab this chance since our speakers are well-versed and expert on this field in research. And uh, this will also give us also um, an improvement not in our dealing with our different research studies. This will uplift our college uh, research uh, endeavors and activities later on, which uh, each and every students as well as faculties and the uh, whole uh, community of the College of Technology, as well as university, that the, the students and the faculty uh, collaborated to uplift you know, our uh, research uh, Activities and later on, uh, we are hoping that we can increase the ranking of our university through these efforts. So, thank you very much and good morning. Uh, thank you, Sir Pimentel, for um, the opening remarks. Our next speaker will be Engineer uh, French Maverick Lorilla, but I think um, he will come by 9.30 or he will be online by 9.30 a.m. So for now, I'm going to ask if um, our hosts are already online. Um, kay Gimension nila ganina nga, wala daw sila signal. So akong i-check if available na sila for hosting our event. If not, then ako na lang ang mapadayon mag ni mag mag host
Uh, by the way, our key speaker for this uh, two-day activity will be um, Dr. Hamisula. So just a brief overview of uh, our key speaker. I'm going to share to you his biography from Elsevier. Okay. Uh, by the way, everyone is um, free to send a message or uh, send a chat if they have a question. So sayang ka, you know, uh, we were expecting someone from the org, SUMTS org, to do the hosting. And since wala daw sila, um, wala daw sila signal, so ako na lang. <laughs> okay? So I'm going to share to you a biography of our um, key speaker that is uh, tomorrow. Siya ang mag-speak for tomorrow. And then... Ako lang i-share daan ang iya ang iya ang biography. Okay. okay, so this is um his profile uh Dr. Rodrigo Hamisola and currently he is the faculty uh, the faculty or the professor um in Engineering and Technology sa Botswana International University of Science and Technology. Okay. But, um, former, he was, um, uh, nagtudlo siya sa Philippines and then, um, ang iyang uh, PhD uh, from electronic uh, from De La Salle, which is um, PhD in electronics and communications engineering robotics uh, that is from the De La Salle University Manila and then ang young masters is from Colorado State University also robotics master of science and then naapod uh, master of engineering sa National University of Singapore and US also robotics not a uh, medyo taas taas na gid siya og um, experience with regards to robotics and ang yang undergrad is from the University of the Philippines so dili gid basta basta si sir and then let's check no ang iya ang mga projects okay so Currently, na she project nga kaning anti money laundering using node and edge levels in position aware graph neural networks. That the project is from 2021 to 2022. And then na siya project um, next is kaning research niya determining the efficiency of hydroponics against conventional farming system in Botswana. Next is um, the Ganshag project, guys. So if you want to check, um, kung interesado mo makabalo sa mga project ni sir, pwede rin ninyo tanawin diri sa iya ang Elsevier nga bio, yung profile. Okay, so I'm going to share to you this link para makita ninyo. Okay. So for the program flow, uh, by 9.30, um, we're expecting our speaker, um, Engineer French Maverick Lorilla, to present the topic Problem Solution Gap. And then by 10.30, we'll be 
uh, Dr. Consorcio Namoko, our university professor, to present the topic, Conceptualizing Research Topics in Technology Research. So for this morning, we're expecting two speakers uh, from the College of Technology. They are faculties from the College of Technology. And then for me, no, dili ni siya basta-basta atong mga speakers, especially si ato ang uh, university professor. So you really have to take time to listen and really understand no, especially ang yang gingon no conceptualizing research topics in technology research and he also mentioned yan asya ipang add no especially sa objectives um sa pagimo sa objectives sa uh, um siguro sa significance of the study so you really have to listen and uh, otherwise video recorded man siya so pwede ninyo ma-review okay so let's see if nana si sir french And then sa hapon, we'll be expecting after our lunch break ang first to present o ang topic patent search is Engineer Jerry Halibas. He is currently the patent writer in TPCO. So he already has some, a lot of experience and he's already been able to patent some of the, um, his uh, works. So this is going to be very important. Kung sa may relevance sa uh, patent search, kana ang inyo ang i uh, subton paminaw ninyo nga nung kinangla na patent search sa research. Okay, so explain na ni sir and then after ni sir Jerry will be ang research methodology. So paminaw ni Apon gyud ninyo ni this is uh, the most important part ang research methodology ug ang research format. Kay when you write your research um, kinanglang yun din yung sundo ng research format. Si Sir Engineer Raymond Saldo ang present, Anna, no? So, um, we already discussed uh, the research format and hopefully, kung sa itong giingo ni Sir, uh, sundun po ito ninyo in terms sa inyo ang research or thesis writing ninyo. Okay? So, ang first uh, presentation for tomorrow, uh, that is the second day would be Engineer Dexter Duwat uh, presenting Adi. It's a conceptual framework which is normally used for technology. Okay. And then next for the second day will be data gathering and analysis. So um, what we noticed during uh, the final defense sa mga students, uh, karong mga fourth year, is um, they really uh, lack this part sa ila ang research which, which is data gathering and analysis. So that's why we are going to emphasize this part in the second day. And then um, next is ang design, simulation, and programming that will ako, ako ang mag-present, Anna. And then next is ang mechanical design and calculations. So mostly sa mga projects, sa mga students, uh, sa ilang research is gahimo sila og design Pero wala sila background asa sila gikan adto nga design uh, wala kay sila calculation wala kay sila um, kulang bitaw ang foundation nga nung kinadto nga design so kinanglan gyud uh, kani nga topic nga especially kung ang imong gusto nga research is dagko nga mga devices dagko nga mga prototypes na ay mga magamit mo mga uh, <clears throat> atong mga na sila gamit ng mga sa batong mga mechanical no ng mga components so kinanglan gyud po ninyo na include ang mga calculations ana like torque um ang force nya na so ing ana ang a present ni Sir Salvanya no engineer Camilo si Salvanya for this topic kay ang uban man good magdesign sila without a proper background so, dapat kani 
sa mga dagko nga mga prototype paminaon yun din yun eh. And next will be kaning plagiarism check, MJST publication and its importance by Engineer Ruth April Labahan. So he is currently working or is currently designated sa MJST publication. So um, she is uh, well versed with uh, publications and its importance. So ato siyang uh, ato gini siyang paminaon gihapon because this is one of the um, outputs na to sa tong research. No? And then next will be product marketability and technopreneurship. Si Engineer Jojo Pabobadora ang mag-present, Ana. Okay, so after ninyo hihim mo sa inyong project, dili pwede nga uh, i-junk lang dahil na siya, no? Or kanang wala siya purpose. So, kani siya, product marketability and technopreneurship. Um, this is important kay after ninyo i- I present ang yung research dili man pwede na itago lang nato no so you should be able to pro create a product that is marketable gihapon so ma sell ninyo ang inyo ang project and then next will be the short discussion this is one of the key speakers nato si Dr. Dr. Rodrigo Amisola. He is uh, the balik scientist of USTP. No? So, dili basta-basta ang ato ang mga speaker, especially sa second day. Kay he is from uh, other university sa laing nasod and he is part of the balik scientist program. What is balik scientist program? So, uh, the burden of the the burden of the government is daghan kay tag mga bright nga mga scientists, daghan tag bright nga mga engineers, daghan kay tag bright nga mga doctors, mga mga professional workers na to which are not working here in the Philippines, they are currently working abroad. So that is really the burden of the government to 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 get them back and make them work here. Nganong inana man because they are going to be the foundation of uh, the knowledge, um, uh, research here, if they can get them back to, to teach here. And so this um, is part of the project, which is the Balik Scientist Program, wherein we, we are going to invite them to do adjunct professors here. No, So si Dr. Rodrigo Hamisola, he actually agreed to to be an adjunct professor here in the Philippines but currently na pa siya karon sa Botswana but hopefully in August or July mag kuan man siya mo mo visit siya diri under the Balik Scientist program and we're currently doing a project with him so uh, we are going to take this opportunity bisag 1 hour ang iyang ihatag sa ato at least kanang <clears throat> naa siya ma advice sa ato ah. and um uh, ang iya ang mention sa ako ah, is he suggested that for this session niya is dili lang students ang mo attend as well as ang mga advisors okay so let's um and after that is ang um, giving of certificates and the uh, closing remarks by engineer Dominic Cagadas so uh for now let's see if Nana si engineer French Maverick Lorelia for a short overview kay sir or engineer French Lorilla. He is currently the TBI manager of CDO Bytes. And he, actually, Dr. French Maverick Lorilla, no? he is currently finishing his dissertation for his uh, doctorate in Davao. And then we are very much kanang. Uh, Privilege to be able to hear ang iya ang discussion regarding ani nga topic. So guapo git ka ayo ni iya ang discussion about ani. So I hope mamino git ayo. Okay, so let's see if na ba si Sir French.
Uh, I started with, uh, with my masters in Singapore doing uh, robot control. Basically, it's a, it's a control where you, where you have uh, the, the full dynamics of the robot and you simultaneously control in real time the forces and motion of the robot when it interacts with the environment. And I started with, with that and, and we have shown uh, some videos of that and we have published a journal paper in that area. And when, when, we came he when I came here at uh, CSU, I was asked to work on uh, kinematic failure tolerance, which is the area of research that Professor Maciejewski is, is pioneering at. Basically, we specialize in robots that are working in an environment where direct human intervention is not possible. For example, those robots that are working in nuclear environments and robots that are in the outer space. So in the case of these robots, basically robots are very complicated. And with, with the complexity of mechanisms, there's a, tendency, there's a very high tendency that they will fail. And in that, that is the case, this is the thing that our research is trying to address. How do we address uh, kinematic robot failures such that the robot will not go crazy if some joint failures exist? But will, it, but is guaranteed to complete its tasks despite failures in the robot and despite obstacles in the environment. This this robot here is a Mitsubishi PA10 robot. It is made by uh, some a Japanese company called Mitsubishi, and it is one of the most common commercially uh, available redundant robot. Redundant robot uh, means that there are more joints. Uh, than what is required to move in a in a world space. In a robotics point of view, the world is a six-dimensional world, where you have uh, three degrees of freedom in in terms of position and three degrees of freedom in terms of orientation. That means six degrees of freedom in full space. And uh, and for a robot to be considered redundant, the robot has to have at least seven degrees of freedom. And in this case, this robot has, has seven degrees of freedom and therefore has a single degree of redundancy. A lot of people have been doing research in this, in this robot and uh, in fact, I, I also worked with this robot in Singapore and this is a new robot that is acquired by Professor Maciejewski when we first came here. Working with Professor Maciejewski, I always consider myself lucky and honored to, uh, to work with such a very respectable and very famous professor. I think Fort Collins is a family-friendly town, and uh, especially for students with families. And they have, there are many, the, the city government itself are doing a lot of uh, uh, family-oriented activities that would encourage families to join in. And in fact, we were in the front page of the Coloradoan during the uh, Father's Day event at the city park. Uh, we were expecting that, that it would be a very nice place, and indeed it was. You see, we edit a lot of videos. <laughs> Okay, so that was um, Dr. Rodrigo Amisola. So it was uh, from his younger years. No, grabe, na kayo siya ka-advance. <laughs> Bata pa kayo siya ato. Uh, so, unsa na lang ka karon. Um, anyway, let's um, ask if naana si Engineer French Lorilla.
Hello, ma'am. Ma'am Helen. Hello. Hi, sir. <laughs> Good morning, sir. <laughs> So um, we're going to hear um, our first topic from our um, uh, one of our faculty of engineer uh, electrical technology, uh, Doctor French Maverick Lorilla, Doctor Nagino, and then he is currently the TBI manager of CD of Bytes, and then uh, sa pa? no. Maroto, ma'am. Maroto, ma'am. Ma'am, palimog ko, ma'am, ka na makashare ko screen, ma'am. Sige, sir. Sige, sir. So, salamat kayo, sir, no, for um, giving us time to, to, to be able to hear from you this uh, topic, which is very, very important. So, when sir discuss this topic to me, grabe kayo ko ka, interesado, gwapo kayo ang pagka-present mo, nang diligid, mawala sa akong unahon. No? So, first, gina ako nga ipapresent for this um, uh, seminar or for this uh, webinar or online lecture will be si Dr. Uh, French Lorelia. So, take it away, <laughs> sir. Salamat kayo, Dr. French Lorelia. <laughs> Man, work in manifest na jud no so actually kan pa naga final defense pa pero hopefully ma kuman na siya karon niya buhay karon niya mga tagna okay sige uh, good 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 morning everyone so i am assigned to uh, discuss to you share to you uh, what i uh, experience no and know about evidence based research and most likely uh, evidence based research um are ginagamit ni sila kas researchers are usually ginagamit sa kanang maghimo bitatag mga proposal for our let's say our undergraduate thesis or even master's thesis or even in in doctorate thesis um that, that is through a uh, problem solution gap analysis no? so sa hay um pangota na man god unsa man ako ang gustong i unsa may nindot bitaw or chada bitaw nga uh, i-propose na ako sa ako ang advisor or sa panel. Kana bitaw nga question always no mag maglisod ta og identify unsa naman po pwede na to baguhon sa gihimo sa previous nga batch ana ana mag implement ta tong ma mahunaw na ano uh, ako siguro do nga gan na to wifi kay kato kay nakalan pa or or maybe uh, katong last time uh, ang ilahang gigamit niya kuan Ar, uh, Arduino karon atong gamitan na og kanang RPI so things like that are just assumptions no uh, and kana siya nga mga assumptions nara sa to ang una uh, na or sa to ang nakita so but uh, that is not actually uh, doing research in the uh, dili na siya mao ang tinatawag nga research no kanang tan-aw na nato unsa ang mga uh, kulang nila dito sa katong previous uh, previous ng mga proposals or pre previous ng mga uh, capstone project but actually research is somehow uh, mangita tabi tao o ka ng uh, mga prob uh, either no either a uh, literate uh, scholarly uh, technical gaps no kay kita mga technology most of us here right now are mga technology uh, are aligned in technology no, so either technology gaps or pwedeng uh, uh, user gaps kanang let's say katong uh, target uh, beneficiaries or users na to sa to ang technology has some difficulty on dealing with the previous technology or the previous project or maybe pwede pod ka ng mga pwede ka, ka ng mga lalum-lalum o ng mga academic gaps no so uh, but right here, uh, right here karon ako ang gin, uh, ako lang ning i-share sa inyo sa mga basic bitaw nga way nga makita bitaw coming from the literature we can already come up with an idea kun unsa ang ato ang pwedeng i-propose so, dili dili siya kanang tungod kay katong last year mo na ilang gihimo karon ato ang ipusbo ni nani na pud ang atong i-propose and so on and so forth ana siya or kung kulang dito last time at pandungagan so it's not like that no so so uh, so this is one way nga maka generate ta og uh, 
maka-generate ta og more ideas, mas ma-broaden nato ato ang horizon kung unsay gusto nato nga i-research. Okay? So disclaimer lang to daan. Disclaimer no. So most of the contents of this presentation were taken from various sources on the internet labi na nga kagahapon ra ko kabalo na <laughs> ako ni mag present karon una pag yun. Oh, so mostly kani gi pang copy paste na nako wala na nako gi proper citation kung asa na gi pangkuha ning mga uh, sources din ni and some reference uh, were 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 not no and some of the contents are originally taken from proposals that were granted uh, by a uh, granted by funding no so so my presentation outline uh, are as follows first is what is the research proposal second is the literature review and gap analysis but i think this will be further be um, explained no sa um sa next pod nya ko anya uh, mo sunod sa ako ah no si doc na mo ko no mag uh, discuss pa siyag further about um uh, uh, using also literature review to conceptualize um, research topics. No? Ako lang more into the gap analysis lang yun din siya. And then the third one is the research systems and processes. Yeah, so, so let's start with uh, answering the question, what is a research proposal? So basically, this is, a, this is your plan. Uh, so once I naa itong plan, it describes the detail of your study and also the decision about your study are based on the quality of the proposal. So uh, more likely uh, sa, to, sa undergrad, no, it's, uh, it refers to the chapter, uh, chapter 1 to chapter 3. No? It starts with an introduction, uh, a rationale, why you come up with such proposal. Uh, you kind of summarize the uh, the, 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 brief, uh, the the situation, no, or the trends. You might want to explain that, or you might want to also discuss about a certain problem, and those problems are in a uh, address. Naman na siya, dugay na kayo, but there are still lacking along the way. And what you think na maka improve ato nga mga uh, problem sa ilahang mga solutions before is somehow uh, money ang gina-assume ni mo that could somehow help. Uh, so na siya. Pwede ni mo na siya i-discuss dito sa yung introduction and then come up da yun with the literature review and then the third one is a methodology kung saan ni mo pag perform ang every objective that you mentioned or defined on the introduction okay so uh napay penalty ho na what you know or what or wanted to know where you wanted to go and how are you going to get there so mo na siya ang unod yun sa um sa isa ka research proposal okay so mo na siya so what to know sa imong gusto pang may balaan asa ka gusto mo adto o kung uh sa on ni mong makadto ka dito so mo na ang naala dapat yeah so next is um essential ingredients sa isa ka sa isa ka research proposal no um this is adapted from M mtcw no At, so ingon niya diri na anin first kaning the issue so unsay problem na imo hang gusto nga i-address so more likely uh, for the for uh, last year no especially last year or last two years ago more more likely nag-focus ang atong mga problem na atong gusto i-address sa COVID-19 no? we want to, uh, to to develop a technology that somehow um, encourage um kaning hygiene no? encourages uh social distancing no mga uh, mga pwedeng makitabang para ma-observe ang mga uh, precautions no or uh, mga uh, suggested nga mga uh, kailangan nga i 
i uh, i observe sa mga tao so na so so those are the things no and uh, and then also you can discuss there unsa po ang gipanghimo no so syempre na ni mga solutions existing solutions no when we are targeting for a problem um we need to make sure also that there are those people or there are those uh, researchers already uh, attempted to work on that uh, on that problem but, but however there are those failing points that you want to address so that nakamusulod sa the issue and uh, research design so muna ni siya katong sa unyong mga more likely this is the method methodology how you are going to achieve your research objectives in line with the uh, solution that you want to 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 present and lastly the benefit no uh, what will what will be the, what will the research will contribute so more likely on on most of the proposals no na nay murag ka nang kung magiskot tag benefits na sila murag ka nang standards no and these standards are uh, are prof proforma ba kumbaga no? and based uh, this is aligned also with the uh, DOST nga or ginapangayo nila whenever you are asking for a, a grant or a, or or whenever kung masking sa kwan masking uh, this could also be applied in 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 our, in our campus no uh, anang inatawag nila nga six piece so six piece includes the publication uh, another p is the uh, people and services so kinsa ang uh, maka benefit ng mga tao no pila ang let's say uh, pila ang maka gamit ani or pila ang ma train sa paggamit ani pila ang ma educate sa paggamit ani and another another one is kaning patents no May, maybe uh, sa inyong na develop nga technology there is something novel about it and that novelty somehow addresses katong gingon nako kaganiha nga mga uh, mga issues when when they try to implement such solutions to the problem no? and you improve that or you 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 increase the efficiency of uh, of of your solution or you uh, increase the productivity and asya no so things like those no are pwede na siya mabutang sa uh, pwede nimo i describe sa imong patent ma develop nimo uh, na na develop nimo under your patent no and somehow another one is tulo na matako na isugutan um uh, uh, i think na ka isugot na pud publication no yeah so publication uh, patent people services um napay another one na nakalimot ko sa isa as a to, as a, the remaining three so do, so just search na lang just search na lang uh, six piece no in uh, uh in, the, in 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 google no so those are the exam, those are three examples that i mentioned nga pwede ninyo ibutang sa benefit uh, what I'm referring to the benefit also here is kanang uh, immediate output bitaw siya sa project, no? Because uh, undergraduate thesis is kanang ano lang siya, uh, short term rakayo po siya ang ang murag ang ang patumpanan o ani, no? So more likely the immediate outcome niya kay kung mingon taog uh, ang benefit we are looking at the outcomes, so that's measurable dia pa ni makita na siya after 1 to 3 years no and we're when we're talking about impact uh, that's uh, medyo long term siya kay abot na siya og mga uh, around 6 years before you see uh, what's the effect of your uh, technology or your solution so na siya so these are the three essential ingredients nga dapat klaro or puhog ni silang tulo no sa imuhang research proposal if sa issue pa lang daan dili na clear how much more on the preceding no nga mga uh, elements like the research design and the benefits dili ko siya klaro so every step of the way it should be more uh, more ano siya, under, more understandable siya on the end of the panel or on the end of someone who is a part of your stakeholders
Yan. So, yeah. So, yeah, all, all of these, um, all of these kaning mga, um, kaning mga essential ingredients, kaning research design, and even the benefits, dili na to ni sila uh, fully ma-interconnect to each other or di na to ni sila ma fully ma-realize if we don't have a good uh, literature. So that is why very important ang literature to come up with uh, these essential ingredients. Kung pangutanon mo, asa mo maguna? Introduction or mag-literature review? If I, if I would ask you that question. Asa maka maguna? When, when you write your research proposal. Okay? Ako, sir, so you can comment tayo. down below, no? On sa ang uh, inyong hang kuan po, inyong thinking about that. Yeah, I agree. No? Thank you for the response. No? So, uh, so, sa literature review, good. No? So, you, uh, that is why most of the points no, na nga naasa, nga naa, nga nabutang ni mo sa imong introduction uh, are coming from the literature or somehow um, a consolidation no? or a synthesis uh, of what you have figured out in your literature. Uh, yeah, so muna siya. So, da dapat diya good magsugod ang tanan, no? So, kailangan di ka mabasa. Uh, ang, sa una mang good, katong mang good na nagtrabaho sa una sa to ang uh, mga undergrad thesis na to, kanang uh, usahay, maligid kayo na to, kay ginalas na tong literature, kay ingon pa nila, ang literature, copy-paste lang daw. No, copy-paste lang. No, it's not like that. No? Uh, di ya, makita sa literature ang mga koan uh, unsay gamit even the technology that you were going to use no nakabutang dira nganong kana ang gamiton uh, aside nya yeah, very important din to identify po dun sa to ang mga nakuha nimo nga insight from the previous nga mga researches no and previous nga mga prototype nga na develop nya so um, to emphasize further uh, RL no or literature review is not just a summary. So dapat makita sa L, sa imong literature review ang support sa imong hypothesis. May kag hypothesis ka ng assumption nimo ba? Uh, let's say uh, you you develop a, a for example la sa ko ang kuan karon sa ko ang gina work out karon nga paper no. Uh, uh, or uh, Kato na lang sa ako ang kuha na lang sa kung undergrad thesis no kay medyo lahi mangguding sa ano na kung sa masters na ka or sa uh, sa kaning tawagan ni sa muang doctorate no kay sa undergrad manggod uh, undergrad uh, thesis uh, students are expected uh, to to practice no how to do research kumogi na ang kuan ang objective nga nung naatay mga uh, capstone project or research uh, uh, research no nga subject sa to ang pagtungha pag mag masters na manggod ta or mag kanang mag graduate studies na bitaw ta guys no if you want to pursue that uh, the academic track or if you want to pursue more uh, career or more understanding no in research masters and, and doctorate nara na sa, sa intersection sa modeling, uh, simulation, or developing a prototype. Uh, so, muna siya. So, there is a, uh, there is a kaning, kuan, kung, uh, to emphasize further na no, kaning uh, hypothesis, um, ako ang project mode sa unam is uh, kung ako ang among gi-hypothesize nga kung, kung amo ang ma-determine ang stress sa crops na may stress levels ang crops no mo na research nga mo ang nakita nga pareha daw sa mga tao ang mga mga crops na po daw na sila stress levels kung kita ma stress at tungod sa atong work or tungod sa pressure or ma, ma, ma stress at tungod sa uh, da, sa ubang mga butang no uh, ang ang mga crops po daw or ang mga 
ng mga halaman no uh, do have also experience uh, a stress no and isa sa mga stress factors nila isang heat isa gina si heat no kadampit daw mo uh, mula host na siya sa iyahang uh, unhealthy nga uh, heat levels no so meaning kanang destructive na siyang heat na isa pod is kanang uh, na certain nga uh, moisture no uh, nga gina, na very uh, relevant siya sa pag uh, for the maximum yield of the crops no and then isa pud to sa uh, isa pud sa mo nakita is ang uh, aside sa the moisture is the temperature of the soil lahi ang temperature sa ambient lahi pud ang temperature pud sa soil so and we have also the, there there are uh, studies on the previous na na yung mga model nga ilahang na, na nahimo sa mga researcher nga uh, amo siyang gitry no and uh, amo siyang gitry and gi, gi, re, gi revise na mo siya no kibali among gi develop gilahi na mo ang iyang algorithm on how uh, it analyzes the stress of the crops so mo ta mo ang research tong undergraduate so among hypothesis kapag kung gamiton to among revised nga algorithm uh, mas mo mas mo saka ang yield sa amo ang uh, sa amo ang crops by, uh, by, by, by as much as even 5% at least lang sa uh, at least 5% lang no so mo tamong hypothesis so so, so nangita mi og mga liter literature nga katong among hypothesis nga at least a uh, 5% mo saka siya pag pag monitor na mo o address na mo tong stress sa crops so mo to among gi, gi butang sa mo ang literature nga nga kibali ba nana ni clue daan nami supporting documents nga uh, dili ni siya far from the reality and there are already mga uh, existing studies nga mapud ni ilang ipanghimo pero lahi lang ni nga mua nagana siya no and then ikaduha uh money no uh, as as to give emphasis no extends the previous work wala nga ang re nga word sa research sa search sa search nga gibutang diya sa sumpay sa search is uh utrohon nimo og search no research no kay unsa ni unsa dai imong utrohon og search katong mga previous works so wala uh, it it uh, mga previous works ang gusto gina to masabtan dira unsa ang trend kay posible mang good nga nagchange ang trend throughout the time pwede pod nga nag usab usab ang problem over time di ba o, o pwede pod nga ang mga previous work na sila yung mga conflicting nga mga ideas about uh, about a certain a certain concept or principle no So pwede pod nga mo appeal pod ka sa ilang conflict, no? Pwede pod ka mo point out to another point of view. So ana siya. So so lingaw ang research actually kay kay paano siya? Um how nya how would kay mga babae aning kwan research nga naman kay how mo gud sila mangita og mga uh, problema sa past, no? So mana nga wapo gud nya ko na kay kauban nga babae sa inyo kanang how mo literature review. Okay, mo man sila ang mga mayo kay mangita og mga previous nga mga binuhatan, no? So previous works, no? <laughs> Katalo is avoid previous mistakes, no? Mo po ni ang isa sa uh, advantage nga nung magliterature review para dili na nato usbon ang mga butang nga dili angay natong usbon. For example, si researcher previous work A is naka nigamit siya ani nga chemical ni buto. No, no, passes pass. <laughs> Tama. No, so ni buto. So ala nga na magamito na buto nimo kay takaw na nato na big kung buto ba gyud or ana no. So dili na nato tosbon no. So kailangan nato mangita na po taglaing chemical nga possibly na siya uh, dili dili na siya kanang kuan. Uh, dili siya conflicting sa imong kuan. Kung sa technology po basin ang mo makita nga mga mistake panangilitan example very very basic example lang kanang um kanang ah, example kanang koan kanang rice dispenser uh, natoy project nga ko ang na 
kao ba na ko ba uh, nya pero sa industrial engineering lang to siya nga kuan nya division ang iyang ang ang iyang gihimo day nga prototype is a improvement of the previous mistake from the uh, previous works no ang iyang magong design kay kana bitaw kana bitaw mag mag disaster diba mag magpaka og mga bugas ya yeah, kana mga magpakag bugas ang ginahimo man god traditionally is kanang ginatakos lang na siya nya timbang takos timbang takos timbang nya anyway na magtakos takos magtakos takos ka sa imuhang sa imong sa kaning kan, sa kaning rice kanang it takes time why kay ah manubra nya say kung kung dili manubra makulang pod so it really takes time na magtimbang timbang so atong yang gihimo ang gihimo sa previous work kay kuan automated siya nga kung 1 kilo 1 kilo ra gid ang mo ang mabutang diretso dito sa 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 package no or sa katong plastic ang problema lang uh, ang ang user experience so, ang user experience kanon man kay maglisod man sila og takos although mo muhatag siya og eksakto nga timbang 1 kilo 2 kilo og 105 kilo pero ang problema Uh, maglisod sila og kanang kanang catch atong kwan i don't know say problema ato pero mo rignay something about the na kinatawag na to nga user gaps no experience sa katong mag gamit sa machine so karon yang improve no mo nang didto ni sulod ang industrial design na concept so gihimo niya nga mas uh, mas convenient siya og mas mapaspas ang productivity sa diyang motakos ka og kanang Uh, specific na kilogram so yang gi yang gi kwan yan ang usab ang nasal no? very simple lang and that simple uh, uh, modification sa yang nasal uh, dili siya kwan simple siya pero dili siya obvious no and that makes uh, that design no na ped nakakuha pa siya og kanang industrial design at the same time Uh, is filing it for a patent. So, 'di ba? So we don't need to complicate, we don't need uh and 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 having a literature review will also help us save costs. Why? Because it doesn't mean nga yeah, sige lang uh, ang imuhang research na pud karon dungaga na pud nimo og technology nga mura gola na siya kanang relevant bitaw nga uh, ihatag nga improvement sa previous nga work. Uh, just to gid ka kay upgrade man ka og technology and then katong pag-upgrade ni mo technology wa kayo ikamang kaagan or wala kayo ikahatag ng kaayuhan sa sa imuhang problem na gustong i-solve wala lang naguna lang imong solution wala nag wala ka naguna sa problem which can be dig deeper from your literature review okay so diya na siya makita nimo sa literature review muna nga dapat pugihan gid kay ka mag-search sa imuhang literature sa imuhang literature no um, then third uh, another one is uh, unique to previously followed paths no so dapat unique siya kasi syempre you are dealing with novelty no ana beta pangutanon kasi yung panel no kunti gini nako pangutana sa akong mga estudyante baka nang magpanel bitaw ko so may kalainan ninyo aning inyong gihimo nga project sa katong last last year or whatsoever. Yeah, ang, ang ingon dahil sa mga sudyante nga kanang kuan sir, amo lang ning gidungagan o bababla na 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 siya. Ya, kung kanang kuan, umurang pareha ramang gidmiin yung gihimo gan. So nga, dako na biya nang nagasto ah, ni sir. <laughs> so, murang uh, sa may maluoy taan eh. What's about? So, dili na na. No? So, supposed to be dili expensive mag-research if you have a, a good ano uh, a good literature review no? and mura ni siya og mga gold no kaning mag-review kag mga literature di ni siya basta-basta na ma-search ra nimo sa Google kay makita na nimo like magic nya yeah, makita nimo unsa ang nihatag ni Google mo na na siya ayaw kay when you try to search Google um, and and search about a particular topic it will give you a billion a billion search reserve or results no katindagana what you need to do is to um kanang mag-search ka directly to the Google is a very novice so baguhan kay na siya nga style sa pag-search sa Google you are not actually maximizing the use of Google 
no? uh, so uh, you can you can directly go to the Google Scholar because nga nung Google Scholar because kanang i-provide ni Google Scholar mga more good na siya ang mga filtered na, na siya ba kumbaga filtered wala nay labot ng mga uban nga mga bugos nga mga website no? so ang ihatag lang yun ni Google Google Scholar no? scholar.google.com yung ihatag lang yun niya na kay kanang mga uh, uh, output gikan sa mga literatures no with refers to uh, journals um books conference papers and so on and so forth uh, so dili ta mo tan-aw sa mga website no because some of these are not even published so we need to support or we need to uh, dig to the previous work no not in the website or makita nato sa uh, sa kanang sa mga scribid no or sa kanang mga akademya no? although na may mga ka, kanang role ng mga akademya that edu o kanay mga research gate is just to uh, to add another channel of distribution of your paper para mas dali siya makita sa kadaghanan nga nangita ana okay that's one thing that it would easily expose you and masite dali masite ang imong paper regana siya so so that is why when we when we extend no add, uh, our research uh, from previous works no it means na atahimo nya citation ato silang i i kwa ni mo ang reference no so gi for example atong ibutang sa tong research giingon ni, ni George et al 2022 na inani daw ang ani na 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 mana ni ang progress sa iyang gihimo mana ni ang gihimo sa katong gihimo ni kuan ni Duat et al. So, ana. So, kunatay mga himoon niya mga citation. Yeah. So, very ano gining literature review kanang pangitaay gini gold, no? And later akong i-demonstrate kun unsa one good thing, no, nga akong gina-practice. Uh, akong nakuha pa ni siya na discover during the time nga nag-skwela kong undergrad, no? Kay siguro mas ma-improve pa to na mga mong research no or mas makaroon kami og better idea sa mo ang i-propose ato no so mana o oh, any further wala wala i questions no dere no i i hope you understand what is literature review and this is the 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 pinaka dako ni mo nga foundation sa mo research no ang literature review you should invest on your literature So, mana siya. Okay, literature review. Uh, and then, uh, so, kung saan man din yung gap, no? Kay Gingon ni Re, uh, literature review, it's also a way we can identify the gaps. Kung saan mga problema sa mga previous works. So, kung saan din yung gap, no? So, we're talking about gaps here. So, this means remains to be, uh, remains to be done or learned in the area of research. So, Meaning, uh, it's a gap in the knowledge of the scientists in the field of research of your study. So, gap in knowledge. Kung, uh, so, may yung tag knowledge, no? Medyo, pwede yun siya. Broad yun yung knowledge kay um, uh, kita nga undergraduate. Ili kay ta expected nga mo contribute sa um, sa body of knowledge. No? Dili pa ta, ina, kay, uh, dili pa ta na nga level because Uh, sa doctorate so mostly sa doctorate no siya gina 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 encourage ko no? dapat mo gina ang ang isa sa primary criteria why you will be given a doctorate degree because you contribute to the body of knowledge pero kung mga undergrad lang gani no or kuan pwede man gyapon pwede man gyapon ta maninguha ani no nga maka contribute tag uh, gaps sa body of knowledge and that's something very exceptional sa isa ka ta, sa isa ka a student nga maka come up siya og kanang kanang gap ba sa sa kakahibalo no naka contribute sa naka naka contribute ka sa katibuk ang lawas sa uh, kahibalo no so pwede na ka motawag na nga scientist no kung labi nag naka contribute ka sa body of knowledge scientist na itawag sa imo ana so but uh, here no sa undergrad we are expected at least uh, on the practice level We are expected to deliver gaps in technology, manta, no? Gaps in tech, uh, 
gaps in technical uh, gaps in technical or in user experience mas pwede tang mag-focus ana so um uh, and uh, also gap is serves as an evidence that the study needs to be learned and scrutinized so nay mga gaps nga kanang ah atong tong gihimo ni uh, kuan ni Gonzales et al ug ti klaro eh ug ti klaro yung ikuan ah. so gisklo gimong gikuan ah. ayang gihimo inani pero akong buan buhato ni sayo inani so pwede nimo siya i-challenge no? pwede nimo i i ibuhatan nimo og conflicting statements tong yang gihimo sa previous so pwede inana no so and then the third is every research project must in some way address a gap that is an attempt to fill in some piece of information in the missing scientific literature yeah so so kana siya no so, pwede nimo siya ikuan uh pwede pwede, pwede uh, kaning gaps is pwede nimo siya i address no pwede nimo siya uh, sudlan no kay gapman so kailangan gina sa sudlan so ang isulod nimo ana is at, at least no a, uh, even a, a piece of information that will support uh, one missing one missing piece for example kanang um uh, for example la kanang katong ako, ako ang research gap sa undergrad no so ang ang gap na mo dito kay ang ang fill in na mo ang gusto nga i-fill dito kay ko ako ma remember no kay katong um, ang, ang algorithm na mo revised algorithm na mo with respect to the uh, automation so, so um gusto na mo i-fill in ang information about uh, if nabay nabay ka nang nabay ka nang ano nabay effect if kana ang uh, if ang ang crops naka experience og stress imuha daw yun siyang diligan o imuha daw siyang tagaan o kana enough nga nga water no kay kuan naman mo tubig ra man gyud pwede nimo ikuan irrigation na gud gyapon pero kana proactive irrigation sa ba ang among gi, gi explore ato so kung kung kada init hatag dayon og kanang automate dayon mi na ba siya na ba siya ikuan na uh, that would help ba that would help ba or not kung kanang proactive nimo siya or ped or pwede nimo siya dito dito ra nimo siya idiligan hatagan og kanang enough uh, let's say kanang uh, dito pa nimo para ganahon ng automation pag kanang mga dili na mga medyo maka na ang ang heat sa sa crops nimo kay kato mo pag maginit at uh, kwanda yon diligan da yon ya napon may sak experiment kay pag kuan mo init siguro ta torot pa namo og mga nay mga time intervals ba so naa dito amo ang ginakuan ang time intervals if that would somehow help uh with the growth no or or um or na ba siya effect sa katong uh, uh, katong tissue nga mo ang gina, gina monitor dito sa una so moto mo na figure out nga kuan kaya ng uh, mo na figure out no nga dili dili dapat makadaot day sa plants day ay, nga kanang pag init imo day yung diliga na na so dapat day tagaan mo siya yung turn ay interval of time and that perfect interval of time should be identified. So mo tama ang na-figured out. So at least no, uh, na kita na mo na naay ka nang maski isa lang ka conclusion nga murag naka at least murag partially na ako. I don't know basic na uban nakahimo na to pero at least the practice nga ma-identify na mo ang certain gaps and we were able to fill in our understanding about that. It's already a great achievement. Yeah, so uh, so asa man ato makita ang mga gaps sa katong literature ng atong tanawon. So pwede ang gap statement may be found on the following. So first sa introduction section of the journal article or a poster or in the pwede pod tanawon nato sa goals or importance of a research proposal or pwede nato tanawon sa areas for further study section. So man lang siya nga magtanaw kung kanang 
mag-download to mga journal. Di na ko basahon tanan. Ako lang basahon kaning introduction section. Ah, pwede na akong ginabasa lang yun isang abstract o na. Abstract. Namo yung mga abstract na pangit yung pagkahimo. So, akong tanawon ang Oan, ang introduction. Mostly sa introduction, ako lang ginaskim, gina, paspas na lang akong basa ang mga first to second paragraph and mag-focus ko sa iyang last paragraph. E kanang last paragraph niya, diya niya ginabutang kasagaran. Unsa ay ang nahimong, diya niya ibulgar sa imo unsa ay ang hypothesis. Unsa ay ang gi-assume niya buhaton. Gi-assume, on maon niya ang i-propose niya buhaton sa iyang project. And then lastly, akong tanawon ang ang summary and conclusion. Unsa iyang na come up? Unsa ay dia sa summary? Asa ka nang sa summary and conclusion? Na ay last part lang gyud ra nga isa ka sentence sa hay or duha ka sentence nga about recommendations. Unsa iyang gusto nga gusto nga i, i, i encourage sa mga next researcher. Or unsa ay next next in line nga buhaton nila. So more likely dito ka pwede makita og mga gaps. Okay? So, nine types of gaps. No? So, it might be a lack of understanding about how well a particular instrument works in a certain situation. Yeah. So, dili kayo klaro ang ilahang gihipanghimo ng mga research sa PAS manang gusto ni mong klarohon. No? Diba? Kaduha, it might be introducing a new method that needs to be tested. No? So, Pwede nga maglahi ang inyong metodol. Pariha raga po ng inyong technology. Pwede mong gudana, no? Pwede, pwede pariha inyong technology. Pero lahi ang paagi ninyo sa paggamit sa technology. Pwede mong pugana. Okay? Pwede maglahi inyong metodology. Iya, yeah, kaya nani iya ang paagi sa paghimo sa sa iyahang, ano, sa iyahang, let's say, sa iyong prototype ako, ay nani. So, pwede po ang design. So, dagan ka pwede i-address. Nung muna nga, uh, muna nga, Ano ang mga way klaro ng mga research proposal? Alam na kung sa problema ninyo. No? Wag good mo nag-research. <laughs> so, wanang kailangan yun niya na akay ka na. Unahon gani eh. ako, ako yung dinauna suggest is uh, kung mag-present ng mga sudyante is tagay ng background. Ganong, sabi motivation ni mo. Ganong nakakam up ka aning idea or ganong nakakam up ka aning title proposal. Unsa imong unsa di imong nabasahan about ani? From dia pa lang daan nga pangutana, pangka na kayo no nga kun you were able to do ba your assignment or not. Imo bang nasabtan jud unsa ang imo hang gusto nga ipasabot no. Kay kana bitaw magstorya na mga estudyante ni ko imo nasabtan ni mong ginastorya unsa imo hang bot pasabot. <laughs> so kung imo pangutano na na mga nga man na sila. So aw oh. Wala, biya sir. No, so, uh, it's all about kanang kuan, no? uh, not doing your assignment as a student uh, in developing a, a good research. Uh, good research no? Then, third, it might be studying a new organism, system, or a part of a process. Okay? Okay, pwede po din system. No? Nahi ang yung system, pwede po nga apart lang sa process for example kakao nagimo kao machine nya gikan sa kakao um kakao pods mahimo siya ng kakao nibs sa sa, sa tunga tunga sa imong process no ang, ang kasagaran gihimo sa mga previous work is in ani one ilang git traditionally ginahimo jud then sa busabon lang nila dito sa pagprocess na sa nibs basta niyo ha day mo hang gitirada kay katong sa tunga tunga nga process kanang mag-transition na ang 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 process gikan sa cacao uh, cacao pods to cacao nibs no so na certain process dira na imuhang kwan nga nga pwede siya nga ang kaning imong uh, imuhang gi-propose karon nga nga mekanismo dito maka maka reduce siya og wastage di ba pwede siya makapa sa aka sa productivity no mas mo time 6 ang ang inyuhang ma process nga kakao nibs uh, every hour tungod atong nga mechanism so inana siya no it should be identified very clear uh, then third is that it might be multiple gaps in which in case you need to ensure identity of each of them clearly so uh, pila man di ka gaps ang i-address no at least isa lang pwede na nang isa 
Okay, nakaayon na siya. Okay. So, natin yung mga example. No? Delete, delete ni siya kaayon technology. No? Uh, mga kuwan. Uh, but I will show you later. No? Kuala ni siya. Example ni siya sa uban. Nga, nga makita na to. So, this is a 1995 gap from Osaka, Itaw, and Puruda. No? So, this is a ano, gikan sa di nakitaan lang nako na uh, randomly nga nga presentation so ingon niya dire the relationship between the four damping factors uh, internal friction support uh, maski pagili kita kasabutan ni no kay mura medyo physics ka ayo ni siya pero alam na kita nga uh, nagtan-aw isa ra tong nasabtan dire ang uh, kani yang ipangsulti has not has not yet been clarified from that then kani siyang iyang gisulti diri sa una nga wa takasabot no kay friction support loss man iyan ano so force and free space blah blah, blah. no kay mga physicians man sila mga lahi na man ilang mga lahi na man ilang kalibutan ani so mapuning isa sa kwan magmili tag literature ano masabtan nato no dili ta magpa hero hero og kanang nasabtan nato ang nasabtan nato ang ang tanang butang no so So kato lang masabta na to. So not yet been clarified. No? Kay anong kailangan nasabta na to kay man ta identify o gaps, no? Sa so, iyang ginapasabot nga gaps kung wa ta Okay? So kani example ni siya, no? Not yet been clarified. And another another ko and keywords, no? Keywords lang katapat ani, eh, no? Uh, example kanina isa. Na, Napoy la, laing mga keywords like kanang has not yet been studied, reported, or uh, elucidated, is required, needed. The key question is, remains, it's important to address. So, makita na gaya mo aning mga keywords, uh, alam na this. No? These are what you call gaps. Okay? Then, 1995, uh, six years after Dibuhatan na yun research. Katong iyahang gihingon diri nga wala na clarify. Giklaro na ni during 2001. No? Kung muna na iyang gikuan. Kaya akong gihighlight na rin. O kasabot ani ilang ipang storyahan diri Pero uh, ingon niya, katong question of whether all chemicals are not currently proposed in the literature, blah, blah, blah. blah. So, iyahan ang has to be addressed. Has to be addressed. So, meaning, gitry niya address sa iyahang paper. Okay? So, so nana ni mga word nga addressed so and and referring to the question so that's what we, what that's what uh, filling the gaps example uh, are are nabutay lang mga example sa filling the gaps no um so ingon sa dere kaning however the practical application of this model is limited so yahang gi restate tong gaps at atong problem before uh, sa previous work because of the complex numerical uh, solutions required. So, yahang gi fill in a gaps kaning kuan kaning naka uh, italize no? which is the paper is to quantify the long term blah blah blah. So, so pwede siya mahimong sa to pa mapansin yung pattern ang gaps mahimong siyang objective sa yang stand pwede siyang nahim pwede siyang mahimong main objective sa imong study okay that's one thing no that's important mana nga kung mabal-an na gani mo sa gikan sa imong literature review ang mga gaps wala na uh, automatic dayon na kay objectives because objectives are derived from your gaps okay siya wala na imo ang main objectives niya. Dito nakamaglay-lay sa specific objectives. Ay gusto ni mong gustong explore ana nga objective. Kanang main objective ni mo. Uh, so, kanin. Na ako nang gi koan, gi screenshot para gikan gid sa kanang literature. So, try na to dere. Oh, sige. Pwede niyo, pwede niyo ma-identify asa dinhi ang gaps o asa dinhi ang iyahang uh, gi-fill in sa gaps sige daw so ingon dere paralytic shellfish poisonous occur of course worldwide in harmful algal blooms including those responsible for blah blah tanaw la nato ang kwan ta kasabotan ni so at 
alam na kaning the, the aims of the study were to fully characterize oh. so mo na ni sa ang iyang fill ins no proposed fills niya okay so unsa kay diri ang gaps Uh, were not reported along as the Portuguese coast. Diba? Kita na to derip. Were not reported uh, in the year, uh, during the 10-year period. So that's the gap. So, Tanaw na ito kung tama itong kwan. Uh, oh, good, no? According to the national, no? were not reported. So this is the gap statement and this is the real statement. This aims, uh, this, uh, this aims, this study, uh, the aims of the study were to fully characterize the wabla. Ano na? So, dali na kayo. So, wala na. Isa na ni Kakwan. Kanang iyahang, iyahang, pagkita niya sa iyang gap, mana iyang film, mana ni iyang research proposal ka rin. Nag-focus ani nga context. Okay? So, napako exact example. Ano eh? 1999, no? So, the exchange process, so, wata kasabutan na, pero kita nga, koan kita nga iski pagdi kasabot ato ra man tay teknika ni kay pangitaon nato ang keywords go no. so, may keywords dere are poorly understood no ani are poorly understood natin nakita dere no and then uh, in this paper kun ano mga mga in this paper <laughs> so mga teknika ni eh. wala lang i, i control f no ngitaon nimo kay koan kanang magpapadrama na sila papadrama ni sila no mag mag magtaparay ra ni sila pag ano pag um pag mag magkit matan-aw ni mo sa imuhang usually sa abstract ni sila makita no or sa introduction ara gina sa dela so tama are fully understood in this paper we describe a study of a white so so very simple ra kaayo mangita og kanang mga gaps so money ang gwapo nga kuan pangitaan og gaps or pangitaan og problem no kaysa sa ubang problem ang imuhang pangitaon di ba so kani kay research man eh Okay, sorry. <laughs> Ay, nagpapirma. So, so, yeah. So, another one. Ah, para hara din eh. Ah, kanin, kanin, kanin. Another one. Uh, so, asa kay diri ang, ano, ang gaps. Na? In this paper, we focus on laser wake field acceleration in new blah, blah, blah. So, physics kaya ni. Wala'y masayon. Physics man kaya ni siya ba eh? So, Wala'y masayon, sir. <laughs> Gwapo na yung mag-start mag mga lisod kay aron katong mga dili na lisod. Sayo na lang kayo. Katua. So mangit. Tanaw po na ito itong uban. Example na pag tanaw ta sa kasagaran sa kanang manang uh, na yung mga literature kas kasagaran yung kanabitang sa mga technology base kayo nga mga pan. Na yung uban niya huwag po iklaro bitaw sila magtanaw mag mag kanang mag 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 present sila ng mga gaps no of fields na yung inana so para ani eh. so oh, kasabot no even i don't see even na keywords no so sa akong experience mag research ko sa hay nagyuban niya wa gid pud sila ipakita no kanang rag feel na feel na ko murag feel nila nga perfect na kailang gihimo una po yung inana no so diri diri na kay ta magkuan na nila so pwede po na kita mag-identify sa kulang no kung labi nag nasabtan na to niya ang a uh, topic so example so this question is a little trickier why no because the author used in the present paper and in the present regime and finally here all of which sounds signaling words for filling the gaps but there were but where is the gap no so wala tay nakita no nga gap no we have to look closely at what exactly is being said it is true that the first statement appears to somehow have gap fill Although they haven't yet given us a gap statement, so the authors go on to say this has been this has been studied in two two D geometry, which which brings us to back move 
identifying critical evidence from the literature. So, very generic kayo yung isgutan. No? In this paper, we in, in the present paper, we focus ni, so, ni, ni isgut siya diretso sa yung fields. Okay? Um, yun, ang yung last day, na yung signaling term about this has been. So, na yung mga word niya been. Huh? So, kana palang daan nag-iskot siya, naghalungkat siya sa past. But, uh, wala niya briefly state kung sa to siya. But, you have your assignment. Itagaan ka niya assignment that you need to tan tanaw ni mo ning gihatag niya nga reference from reference 14 to 17. And you might see what uh, unsa tong iyahang ginapasabot niya gi-study sa 2D geometry. So, ano siya. Ano na? So, ano ang iyahang kat. So, so daghan tag pwede nga so daghan tag mas basahan uh, and uh, daghan tag magbasa mabasahan no sa sa isa ka ang uh, ang akong ginahimo ginabasa na ko una ang isa ka literature and then dili ko magsig ang back back no ako sang sabto no sa yang fields and sa yang gaps and then unsa pod ang yang recommendations and then ako pong gin, before ko mag search na pod sa lain sa kun unsa gihatag ni Google Scholar Ako sa tanawan ng iyang mga literatures, no? Katong mga reference niya. Na for example, uh, Tara, example. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I'm using men and Mendeley. No, more ni siya ganang, more siya explorer. Barang diri na ako ginabutang tanan niya mga research nako. So, nagaganan mong guna ko ane kay. Kaya bita magsearch kag particular keywords niya na asolod sa ni mga PDF. So makita ni mo. So, yeah. So, example. Um, For example, I'm I'm currently ano, interested no in working with machine learning and solar trackers. So, mo na ako ang kwan. So, ako, ako, when I when I when I work on this paper no, so akong git tan out dayo no after I understood the concept no was presented in the abstract in the introduction. So, ano rin ko sa last so conclusions. So uh, good results in in terms of speed and precision make it possible to use this approach. So, katong mga ito mga example, pero more into chemistry kayo. So, tanaw tadig mga technology, no? Or something about innovation. So, yung ikwander eh, good results been obtained uh, based on artificial intelligence and computer vision. Ano siya, no? Um, so, nasa yung ondere, ongoing work includes training and validating neural networks with larger image sets. So, meaning, wala pagid kay niya na perfect ang yang gihimo karun. No? So, kaya nga, no, kulang siya og mga image sets. Kaya yung, kapag basaw ni mong tibok paper niya, gamay ra ang yung data sets. So, kung, da, kung gamay mo yung data sets, di kayo inanak-accurate ang interpretation sa imuhang machine. No? Kung i-identify ni mo siya. So kailangan to siyang larger image image sets para ma-optimize niya ang iyang iyang kuan iyang implementation. So nasa gingon na automatic na yon. Mo na ni ang pwede pwede ka magcapital magcapitalize ani no. Future works include autonomous control of heliostat, no. So sa ko sa iya heliostat sa ko a ako I will, I will focus more about the parabolic fish because heliostat is a mature technology already. But this concept has not has never been tried in the in the parabolic dish, no? So, but uh, magkalahi lang ang approach. Uh, so there, sa methodology put ko nag naglahi in terms of dealing with the control accuracy. So, so more likely this is my focus. Maraganang pagdiri ko nagkuan nagcapitalize ako ang research and also the other references nga natin. Wala sa ko ni balhin sa lain. Ako sa nang ipang tanaw tanan nga iyang ipang consider diri nga mga reference because you might see a gem here no makakita ka gold diri no 
Unsa nga nung nakam up niya ni siya nga yung nakam up niya ni siya nga na study. So so more likely dia ni masabtan sa so progress na along the way. And mo na siya nga important kaayo na dapat latest na paper ay muntan awon. Ano man kay kung imuhang gitanaw karon kay for example kay ni kung 2013 ni ay posible kaayo nga kung 2013 or siguro early in 2020 or 2021 na ni nagkwa na na, na ni nag naghimo og efforts to address this gaps kay daghan pud kay mga researcher ang abtik kaayo nga mo address ani or pwede nagsabay mo naghimo ani pero lay-lay mo mga paagi so ana siya So from that, uh, pwede ka magkuha, pwede ka magkapitalize ano. Then uh, when once I I read no all of the papers so, so no, around it, what I do I is I map it. So inani lang very simple lang pa yung mapping. Um, Yan. Okay. So I have here wala din ako kwento. Wala. Labi na share day. <laughs> so, example, kanina. Uh, So what I do is I organize it no tanan diri sa Google Sheets uh, for example demo diri Yeah so for example simple lang kayo very draft lang kay ni siya na nagbutan lang ko kan you can even make your own no uh, title butan ko title butan ko na ko Um, author, say author ito. Tapos, buta na ko, say ang gihi mo, no? marag brief understanding lang mo, usa ko nasabtan. Usually, ako siyang gina, gina screenshot niya, akong ginabutang, para dalit lang po, usay ko nang tamadan ko mag-type. No? Ako lang gina screenshot. So, so, description, more likely, very simple akong approach. Ako ay solution. Yan, tapos, since I'm focused about the algorithm, so, Ibotan ako dari algorithm and the gaps. No? Ibotan ako dari ang gaps. Okay? So, ako alang siya ang gina-highlight tapos gina-screenshot na ako. Ginabotan ako dari. And, syempre, ako ang gina-botan po dari. Sa pwede lang mga recommendations. But from that, no, gikan sa gaps and recommendation, I can already formulate an objective study. So, yan nila. Very basic lang kayo, no? So diri ako pong gi depende po ni sa inyong particular about algorithm that will address about the flexible and dynamic operation sa sa isa ka, sa tracker no I'm, or then nagaka-report ko about low cost no mga uh, SNT adoption models no? so wala siya so depende na siya sa inyong style but the more organized you are mas dali niyo makita unsa ang mga gaps no na inyo hang gusto na is try to solve so so yeah so i think those are the essential i don't know uh, i hope i was able to give a substance about this topic and i i do hope expect no nga uh, that uh, you upcoming na mga fourth year fourth year students ba ni sila or upcoming na mag research could somehow propose a very 
I know. Uh, somehow addressing the gaps na uh, at least the technical and the user experience gaps ng inyo focus kay technology based man mo. Uh, so din na to magbalik-balik ng mga research bitaw nga at uh, mo ning gihimo nila tampulano ug tampulana sa una anion lang nato no gamitan nato sya kuan or i-recycle nato ilang kuan. You can recycle but you need to address what are those gaps na identify nila sa ilang research. So yeah, thank you very much for listening. Thank you, sir. Uh, Tagaan na to si Sir Og virtual hand uh, uh, applause. Uh, virtual applause. Thank you, sir, for uh, sharing to us this topic. Uh, klaro na masiguro ang gingon ni Sir, no? Uh, even ang iyang gingon sa last nga part nga, you can really recycle projects research but you have to make sure that you're going to address the gap no nga kulang at nga project so any question before tamo proceed sa atong next speaker na may pangutan na kay Dr. Lorelia anyone <laughs> Dr. na na oy maula pa jud <laughs> Basta wala pa diploma. <laughs> wala na yung mga tana. Klaro ba ang koan? Namina ba mo? Mga 212 kabuok. Wala dyan yung mga tana. Bisag-isa. So meaning crystal clear. Good ang gi-explain ni sir. So thank you so much sir no, for sharing to us and uh, giving us uh, time to, to present ang kaninga topic. So I hope nga klaruhan at mo and ang ang uban when you're going to present or mag concept mag concept proposal na mo ah uh, mangotana jud bisa inyo no unsa ang problem nga inyong gusto i-solve or unsa ang existing nga gap sa inyong topic or sa inyo ang gi-focus and then unsa ang inyo ang plan nga solution nga i-provide So, klaro na gid kayo na no. Pwede daw sila mangayo. Oh, okay, mangayo daw sila, sir. Sa koan, mangayo daw sila, sir, sa. Ano? Ginatag na nako. Kanang kan ba? Thank you, sir. So, let's um check if naana ba ang ato ang next speaker si Dr. Namoko, our university professor. Let me check this. Ah, so naana si Sir Diri no? Gan uh, ganina ra siya ga online so waiting na po siya so kasama na ko ni siya pag um uh, present kadali okay so i'm going to introduce our next speaker Uh, our next speaker is the university professor of USDP. He is the also the faculty uh, is also a faculty in manufacturing engineering technology. And uh, the gana kadi siya achievements guys. So dili lang kay nako taas na kong introduction. Kay uh, sayang kayo ang time no para ma mami mamino gitu sa tanan madungog pa nato tanan yang uh, i-share sa ato ah. Uh. Uh, Sir Con Are you already online, sir? Sorry, kay sir. Ha? Medyo na late magudatong start. So, mo nang uh, wala rapod ka naka-start by uh, on time dito sa 10.30. This is Sir Con. Thank you, sir. Go ahead, Sir Con.
Sir Korn, wala kay audio, sir. Hello. Okay, sir. Okay na, sir. Paki, paki alaw ang isa ka account na pabi. Ang saan man, sir? Ito. Ah, yeah, wait. Siya ka ano yun? kang ikuan, sir. Ikuan ta ka, sir. I, I co-host. Sige, okay. sige. Pati isa ka account. Okay na, sir. Anyway. Okay na, sir. Gi co-host na ta ka. Duha mo gudok ang account nga ko i-open. Yes, ang duha, ang duha gi co-host na ko. Oh. Ready lang. Ayun. Salamat kayo sir no for giving us this um, opportunity nga makadungog gid mi sa mo ang mga itudlo sa mo uh, regarding So by the way guys si Sir Con is uh, teaching siya og mga graduate studies na no so uh, wala na kayo siya nagtudlo og undergrad so karon uh, is a really a, a, an opportunity for us nga matagaan ta nyag time no So salamat kayo Sir Con for for this one Okay, good morning once again. Good morning to to all who are virtually present here. No, I, I see familiar names uh, because I I'm handling a uh, technical research no for the MET students until until midterm, diba? So yeah. These are uh, some of the names here are familiar. Okay, so first and foremost, uh, thank you for thank you. No, I want to 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 thank and congratulate uh, the the one who facilitated this. Is it the organization or the chairs? Ako ragud sir, ako ragud. Ay kaora, so sa ayun ay ko magpasalamat. Okay, so hopefully and this. And also the ENSA, 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 Okay na kung tingog? Okay ra? So I hope guys, uh, maminaw mo tanan. And I hope that at the end of the lecture, uh, you can you can learn something or you can you can uh, you can get something from this. Dili uh, masayang yung oras. And then uh, some of the uh, uh, parts that I will be discussing uh, We're already discussed to my class, no. So murani siya review sa ila, but I just want to 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 present again, no. Hopefully you can you can learn something. I I will try to present this in a very in a very limanized way, no. In such a way that sabta nato siya. So basically, it's 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 the same. It's the same. There are there are some overlap, but there are some uh, similarities with the previous presenter. Uh, so katong na na mention na or na agian na siguro apo na lang siguro i i skip no or if there's a need to there's a need to to emphasize. So I think we will emphasize. I think we still have one hour. Okay. So I just want to before I present my uh, lecture, I just want to emphasize that. Conceptualizing your topic, no, for research, no, is one of the, if not the most difficult part, no, in conducting your research or your undergraduate thesis. Okay, will you agree? Agree, ba mo nga mao ni ang isa ka pinakalisod nga part? So this is very timely, considering that you are you are in the technical research part. So basically. Uh, you will be after this after this activity or after the the semester you will be uh, ready not to 
to conduct your uh, undergrad thesis no? armed with these uh, skills armed with these uh, kanang mga information no kinanglan ninyo masabtan okay and then i understand that there are some topics that are being lined up for the rest of the day and tomorrow so ang uban nga ang some parts nga uh, ma discuss sa mga succeeding uh, presenters ato lang is ato lang ilang na to i discuss tayo okay so uh, let okay so this is the content though so the, we will we will have a brief review on technology or technical research so that uh, we'll have a common understanding unsa din ang typical research then we will define a thesis what are the what are the pitfalls in a research project what are the characteristics no? it's also good to know what are the characteristics of a good research topic then how to plan uh, research no? planning is one of the important ingredients in conducting research and then what are the criteria to to uh, to consider no in the selection of your topic of for research okay as i as i mentioned earlier this is the most difficult part in fact some researchers uh, have said that once you have a good topic already you have a researchable topic uh ingon nila uh, 60 to 70% daw solved na ang imong problem ang imong imong thesis the moment maka identify na ka og oh, tinuod nga topic okay or problem then what are the important points in planning uh, we will discuss the research problem what are the characteristics of a research problem and i will i will uh, discuss a little on the preparation of research proposal which most of the uh, content here were already shared no by uh, sir frank okay so I just want to highlight here that research uh, in the context of uh, technical research you know, or technology research, uh, it's uh, basically searching for a clarifying explanation of an observed phenomenon. So that definition is more on uh, the basic researches, no? katong na mga hypothesis, okay? Or finding a solution to an existing problem in the workplace or environment. So basically, kaning ikaduha nga definition, mo siya mo fit sa technology research or sa technical research. Finding a solution to an existing problem in the workplace or environment. In other words, uh, that will bring us to a point that the core of research is the problem. Okay, so that's, I hope you will learn that. Uh, dapat di ay, Para makakandakta research, dapat na problem, no? Dapat define atong problem, okay? In other words, kung walay problem, walay research, okay? So dapat klaro na sa ato when, when we are going to uh, conceptualize or to come up with a proposal, dapat klaro sa ato ang problem, okay? Because uh, na iuban, no? Based on my experience, baga na kailang na himo nga proposal. Then during the presentation, during the proposal defense, for example, uh, if we will ask them, if we ask them what's the problem, they find it very difficult to explain. Okay? So, mga mga dilemma sa mga sudyante. No? Mga importante nga, ma-define na ito ang problem. Okay? That's, that's the main essence. In fact, that's the main essence of conducting research problem. Ang sunod na mga nga pangutana, ay problem raman di ay. So, Dali ra. Diba? Identify yung problem. But the next question is, is your problem researchable? That's the difficult part. Researchable ba na siya problem? Meaning, pwede ba na siya, pwede ba ta kakandak o res research out of that problem? Because there are some criteria or there are some conditions uh, for it to be considered researchable. Okay? So I hope that's clear. Dili ta ng problema researchable. Meaning, uh, dili ta ng problema pwede ka mag-conduct og research. Pero kung mag-conduct og research, dapat na kay problema. Okay? Dapat ma-identify nimo ang problema. Dayon, dapat ka na nga problema researchable. Okay? So I hope that's clear. No, it's very 
Ay, ayaw mo ayaw mo kahadlok o research ha? Tanggalan na sa inyong mind, mindset, no? It's 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 very easy, no? It's easy to to conduct research uh, as long as you you start with uh, having a, a positive mindset. Na tanggalan na inyo ang mga kahadlok, mga 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 ansa na kanang ang uban siguro sa inyo mahadlok magkanda kay uh, thinking it's very difficult to conduct or thinking uh, pang kuan ra na no pang pang bright pang bright ra ng research uh, bright ang katanan the fact nga nata diri we are capable of uh, conducting research so mo na una niyo buhaton try to uh, change your mindset and then uh, Ayo na na ang alisod. Kaya kung una na ninyo yung alisod, maglisod na tag-absorb sa ako. So first, there should be a problem and then you have to identify or you have to 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 ensure that that problem is researchable. Okay. Okay, take note of that. Finding a solution to an existing problem in the workplace or in the environment. So na mawde na siya si technical research. So what 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 what's the koan? Unsa may purpose ni technical research or uh, some authors uh, coined that as technical developmental research. So it's actually a research conducted in industrial or university, you no, know, pwede siya sa university, pwede siya sa industry setting that is designed to. So these are now the various purpose of this type of research. Take note that there are various type of research, no? based on uh, based on purpose okay na kay applied na kay basic di ba then ada kay technical developmental research so kanisya na klase nga research which i think uh, most of our students in the college of technology are doing no uh, under sya ani nga under under sya ani nga category okay So these are the various purposes, no? Create, produce new products, materials and devices. So it's it's more on the creation. Okay? Creation of new products. So kung maka-create ang new products, so this is something to do with grabe na gid yang novelty, no? So padulong na ni siya didto sa invention. Okay? Which uh, talagsa ra ang nakahimo ani or wala pa gani siguro, no? Or install new processes, system and services or improve substantially those already produced or, or installed so normally kan siya no we we make some improvement of existing products or processes in other words uh dire mo full ang kwan no concept nato sa innovation we want to innovate we want to we want to uh enhance or to improve existing existing devices existing tools okay such that uh, perhaps our purpose is to increase the performance to increase the efficiency okay or or any depende no or depende sa to ang purpose so ang ang hits lang diha kung mag-improve ka og uh, existing product if that's your purpose no if that's your purpose of uh, conducting your your thesis or your research uh, ang requirement diha is you should know what are the existing products okay So as mentioned earlier in the previous uh, in the previous uh, lecture, uh, we should know how to conduct a literature review, okay? Because we can we can have a survey of all the existing products related to that particular application by searching the literature. Okay, you cannot improve. You cannot improve. You cannot. Uh, You cannot introduce improvement. You cannot introduce uh, enhancement. You cannot introduce innovation of an existing product if you don't know the characteristic or the features of an of the product. Right? It's very common sense. Right? It's very basic. Kung sa umani mo pag introduce of uh, innovation or improvement, wala ka kabalo sa imo hang uh, unsay existing, unsay mga problema sa existing. Okay? So dapat kabalo ka sa existing. And then how will you know the existing products, the existing tools, the existing devices? How will you know? Dapat, you should know how to search the uh, literature. Naman na sa literature, na sa mga publications, na sa journals, no? na sa mga patents, databases. Okay. Take note that in conducting the research, okay, I just want also to emphasize this, in conducting research, wala tay boundary. Ha? Wala tay boundary. Atong boundary is global. Wala na nagpasabot nga kung nakaygi nakaygi propose nga nga for example uh, 
uh, device or machine or equipment niya wala diri sa kagayan di oro to ara sa Africa niya exactly the same exactly the same ang iyang features so dili na siya research kay nag-exist naman dili man ka pwede mo ingon nga naman to sa Africa sir so pwede ra to so in that case uh, dili siya pwede okay take note that as mentioned wala tay boundary okay global atong boundary wala na pasabot nga kung nag-exist sa lain nga lugar dito sipag dito na sa Timbuktu dito na siya nag-exist wala na pasabot nga pwede na to kapihon and then we will have now a research okay Take note, going back to our initial discussion, there should be a problem. And then that problem should be researchable. Later, as we go along with our discussion, masabtan, I hope masabtan ninyo nga kung tanos ang ma-researchable ang problem. Okay? Para kabalo na mo. Okay? Kabalo na mo nga tanos ang ma-researchable ang inyong problem. Dili kay mag-agad mo sa inyong instructor no? or sa inyong advisor nga inyong pag yung pangotan ng sir, researchable ninyo nga problem, sir. So dapat kamo, kamo as the proponent, you should know. You should know because it is expected na you have conducted a comprehensive search of the literature. Mas nakabalo mo. In fact, dapat mas nakabalo mo kaysa inyong advisor. Kaya inyong advisor, wala man na siya nag-search. Ano nga topic? Pero kamo, nag-search mo. Assuming nga you have conducted good planning. So mas nakabalo mo. Di ba? In fact, kung may ngayon ng advisor nga it's not researchable, ayaw mo kung tuo. You should contest. You should challenge. Kaya kamo may nakabalo. You 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 provide justification. You provide ah ah evidence nga that is researchable. Tungod kay tungod kay dili man asya exactly similar sa mga nagigsist. Okay, establish yung gap. Okay, katong dimension ganina ng gap. Actually, that's the problem. May mga identify. Okay, that's the research gap. Muna ang problem na wala pa nag-exist. Muna yung mong i-identify. And then that particular gap, basically that's a problem. Muna yung mong i-address. Okay? Nag-provide ka solution at ito nga problem, at ito nga gap. Okay? Katong dimension nga research gap. Then, you have to ensure na kanang i-provide din mga solution, wala pa na siya nag-exist. Okay? Bahala kung saan na siya ka... Bahala ang difference niya sa mga existing is very small. As long as there's a difference, that's considered as... Kuan. That's considered as... Diligid siya exactly similar. Okay? Depende na karun sa depth sa inyohang... Sa inyohang... Kuan lang sa inyohang... Depth sa inyohang pag... Pag... Sana? Pag kuan ninyo sa inyohang... Solution na nga i-provide. And then that solution sa gap na yung na-identify, that will be now your contribution. No, that will be your contribution to the to the field. Mama na requirement. You should have for it to be considered as research. You should have a contribution to the field. Otherwise, mula kay contribution na wala kay research na itnay buhat. That's that's the that's the under that's the hitch. For it to be considered research, you should have i-contribution to the field. Ang sagay itong contribution, moto imuhang, that's the solution that you are providing to the identified gap. Ang sagay nilang gap, ang gap, mauna siya ang problem na imuhang na-identify. That's why, before you proceed sa imuhang proposal, dapat klaro na daan ang gap. Basically, si gap mo o si problem. Okay? Nga gusto ni mo i-address. Sa ito pa, ang pag-address nyo sa gap, dapat dili na siya exactly similar, exactly the same sa mga existing. And then your solution to that particular gap, to that particular problem, is your contribution to the field. And that makes research. Okay, mga mani pangitaon, when you publish your paper, when you publish your paper in journals, okay, pangitaon din na ang contribution sa paper. Okay, dapat klaro. Dapat klaro kung asa. Otherwise, kung dili siya klaro, basing pag naas siya, gamay ra, dili masatisfy ang reviewer, then they will not allow it to be uh, published, no? They will reject that. Kung di, kung di nagid, kung labi na kung taas ang standard. And that's normal, no? Normal na na siya ma-reject. Uh, in my case, I experience a lot of rejection. Murag hugot, no? But uh, that's normal. That will, that will drive you to work Uh, harder, no? 
and then uh, you can learn something from 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 those experiences and of course uh, one 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 uh, purpose is to decrease cost that's why uh, there are some studies there are uh, funded studies na localized no localized development localized fabrication basically the purpose normally is use, utilizing uh, locally available materials locally available techniques for the purpose of decreasing the cost no of that device okay so i hope that's clear if you want to ask uh, something ginamay gusto i clarify you can raise your hand no uh, you don't need to wait nga mahuma ng presentation kay basi makalimot mo okay so this type of research is applied in prototyping, inventing, innovating, and in improvising and fabricating. So basically, haom ni siya sa ato ang college, no? Maom ni ato ang direction. Uh, normally, maom ni ato ang ginabuhat. Wala lang takabalo nga, maom na dahil nga kuan. Maom na dahil nga klase nga research. And maom ni siya nga klase nga mga research where we can generate technologies. Okay? Ang College of Technology is very, is very rich, no? Uh, possible source for technology generation. When we talk technology generation, uh, that means that we can create, we can generate, or we can register. Okay. Mona da yon ng later uh, in the afternoon. I think some somebody will uh, uh, discuss on this. Mona da intong na mga patents, na mga utility models. Mona na siya. The moment ma register na siya. Uh, kana nga technology ato ana na no for example sa sa university na na siya kung natay mabuhat nga technology but it's not registered dili na nato maklaim okay but if it is registered and approved then we can claim ownership of that and then later i hope uh, you can learn sa discussion sa patent sa about patent nga unsay mga implication okay then i just want you to to uh, to remember that one one uh, import, very important implication is the economic potential. Okay, economic potential of your work. That's why uh, I I, uh, I advise my students na kung mag mag, mag uh, if you want to propose something uh, as your as your topic or as your project for your thesis, don't forget to consider the economic potential. If you think uh, there's a disagree, there's a good potential that it will be commercialized then go for it okay in other words what i mean is inyo ang i-consider unsa ba economic potential ani okay that's why in your consideration in selecting your topic tanawa ang iyang potential for commercialization kana bang magamit siya makatabang siya ayo kay mo pangitag topic nga gamay ra kayo ang gamit kay less ra sad ang iyang potential pero kung if it is widely used by the community uh, used to to uh, solve or to address problems environment na rampant kayo, then chances are okay when you register the technology and have it commercialized uh ako kasi chance take note of the royalty no nay royalty na nga ikaw nag ikaw nag uh, owner an ang technology na kay uh, incentives no monetary incentives nga mabalik sa iyo Okay, so mana, mana siya. So I hope you can learn that uh, more uh, during this afternoon's presentation. Okay, so you're expected, no, as students, you're expected to conduct background research. So this is what I mean uh, a while ago. And also this is being highlighted in the previous uh, present presentation that you're going to conduct background research on selected topic of your choice. No, Liter This is the literature review. Like find out what research other have done on the topic closely related to your selected topic. Okay? Nga nung kinanglan man ta makabalo kung unsa yung mga gipang buhat sa uban para kabalutag unsa na ang existing. That's that's basically the reason. Okay? Kinanglan ta makabalo kung unsa yung mga existing na nga study para dili na nato, dili na magduble, dili na magduplicate. That's why it's very important to conduct literature review before proceeding to the details of the proposal. Dapat sure ta nga ang atong gibuhat wala exactly similar na existing. Otherwise, uh, delikado, no? During your presentation, uh, pasin ma-reject, no? Or you will be advised to find another topic. So at the end of the semester, the student, you will be able to submit a proposal 
of your own topic. And take note that as practice, dili man individual, no, unlike in graduate uh, course and graduate uh, levels, sa inyo is by group. Okay, group. But take note that uh, even it's group, naman na siya individual nga uh, performance. So you will be graded as a group because we want also to to develop in you the the insani ka ng mga teamwork uh, collaboration but aside from that na po na siya individual nga uh, rating nga katong imuhang imuhang contribution atong atapi so team performance and individual performance okay so i hope that's clear no dili kay mangita lang dayon ka grupo nga mga maayo kay magsalig lang dayon ka so ikaw na lang dayon provide sa snacks to mga so that, that's not that, that's not the intention dapat ana uh, na ay certain uh, assignment nga ihatag sa imo nga mautoy during the defense or during the presentation uh, expect nga pangutanan ka sa imong contribution but that does not mean nga di ka kabalo sa uban okay dapat kabalo sa ka sa gipangbuhat sa uban okay Okay, so I hope that's clear. Okay, so when you see a thesis, which is uh, uh, a requirement of you in your uh, terminal year, no, fourth year, so this is just a written document no, that presents the results of a project, research project aimed at addressing a practical problem or issue. Okay, mo say thesis. So that will demonstrate your competence in completing an independent research project. So as you can observe, ang thesis is a culminating activity. That's basically why uh, he scheduled na siya dito sa fourth year after taking your uh, various courses, no, various subjects. So mabali na ang culmination. Basically, mo na siya ang passport for graduation sa anak na program. Mo na si thesis ang mo, demo, ang mo demonstrate no? sa imuhang competence anak na field. Okay? So basically, mo na imuhang passport for graduation. Mga inana ka importante si thesis mo na nga inyong ginang pangandaman. So naamo karon sa technical research or sa research uh, subject in your third year. So you should prepare yourself and you should be ready. Okay? So in fact, it includes demonstration of your uh, conversant no, with the literature. So dapat kabalo mo kung unsa yung mga existing uh, techniques, existing tools, existing uh, devices, existing solution, existing literature, na no? within your chosen topic. Basin pag balibalihon mo, kabalo mo kay inyo manangi, inyo manangi ayo o search, inyo gi ayo study. In fact, in other, in other uh, university, in other university, ako bang sujanti, kung unsa na nga, on what number, unsa na nga number nga reference, ila pa nang i-familiarize. Okay. Um, say, what's the contribution of that reference, of that paper to your work? explain Why is it that that particular article or that particular research is included in your literature? What's the contribution of that? So, dapat mga inana nga istorya, inana nga mga pangutana, you should know. Okay, dapat conversant ka. Dili kay, pagbutang lang kagdagang study, kay para lang kita na nagdagan kayo yung reference. That, that's not... Uh, that's, that should not be the intention. Okay, so to develop your skills and of course to, to develop your expertise no, in preparing clear and concise research topic is useful for decision making. Because there are some situations or there are some cases that your result of your research, no, uh, research outputs are very good inputs for decision making. Okay, para informed based or research based or data driven ang decision making. Okay, na naka importante ang research. So you are expected as students, you are expected to work closely with your instructor or with your faculty, with your advisor, no, to identify your topics. So depende, depende na sa inyong department, depende sa inyong advisor. There are some there are some advisors or there are some department na you will be uh, required, no, you will be required to find possible topics and then present that uh, defend that okay before your advisor okay na yung mga inana na po yung ban nga tabangan mo tagaan mo idea okay depende no na po yung ban nga mga ipabuhat sa inyo kanina lang buhat ako huwag mo na himo huwag mo ina-identify tunga-tunga na lang sa semester huwag mo nakakita ang topic so ang may tabuan na 
ang advisor na lang rin ang mohatag. Then chances are, chances are, dili mag-align, no? Ang gihatag sa inyong advisor sa faculty, di mo ganahan. So of course, sa may may tabo kung di mo ganahan, dili mo, dili mo passionate. Dili mo, dili mo ganahan mo duot. Okay, di man mo ganahan itong topic. Okay? So later, we will, we will uh, emphasize na isa ka, isa ka criteria in selecting a topic is dapat na ito ninyo nga passion. Passionate mo ito nga topic. Para, ganahan mo mo trabaho. Bahala, kadlaw na, alas dos na sa kadlaw, tungod kay passionate man mo ito nga topic, gusto man mo maka uh, come up of solution, tungod kay ganahan din kayo mo, so inyo yung buhaton. Pero kung nagani research topic na di mo ganahan, pagid mo kabalo, pagid mo ganahan. So chances are, uh, wala'y klaro ang out. Okay? So muna siya. But I, I want to emphasize here that uh, the role of your advisor, okay, the role of your uh, instructor, yung mga advisor, is not to give you solution. Huh? Ayaw mo pagsalig. Not to give you solution. Ang ilang role is just to give you direction. Okay? Lahit mo na. Muhatag sa inyo guidance ba? Muhatag sa inyo direction. Not solution. Okay? So, keep that always. Keep that uh, in your mind. Okay? So, in 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 selecting your topic, so, do away with this kind of uh, purpose, no? Uh, because uh, normally, this this will not make uh, this uh, this will not make good uh, research. So for you just want to conduct just for self enlightenment. So wala wala kay kayo uh, sakto ng purpose, no? Or you just compare data sets, or you just correlate data sets, or problems with yes or no answer. Okay, so this is, normally these are not researchable or dili siya maayo ng topic. Okay, so you have to do away from this. Okay, so I want to emphasize again that yeah, it's not. Easy. In fact, it's very difficult to come up with a research topic. No? So, mana nga, inyo agin ng plan. Okay, so what are the characteristics of a good research topic? So, keep this in mind. One is, it should be needed. No, research in topic area should be needed. But in the case of technology research, normally, given na na siya. Okay, di man tamukan na kong research kung dili ikinanglan. Okay, as mentioned, it should start with the identification of problem. So the fact na na problem, kinang lang siya i-address. So given na na siya nung no, na siya significance or importance. Because there are some field, okay, there are some fields na dili kinang lang na na significance da yun. For example, in, in uh, to give an example, in conducting search, uh, research for a pure, pure mathematics, wala man na siya na-identify ng problem na na solve the 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 conduct the conduct uh, pure math research uh, for the purpose of uh, appreciating its beauty okay just for the beauty of it wala dili nimo ma identify kung sa bay problem okay but uh, there are some uh, cases na uh, it will take many years 20 years 10 years 20 years 30 years ana pa dani mo ma appreciate na pwede dai siya gamit on pag solve aning problem Okay. But in technology research, it's very clear. Ang klaro gid na ang problem mo ang siya ito ang iso. And then, it will result in one or more of the following. New or improved evidence, improved methodology, improved analysis, improved concepts or theories. In the case of technical research, improved uh, characteristics, diba? improved properties, improved yung function. Okay. Katong nag-innovate ka na, nag-innovate ka o mga products. Or nag-decrease ang cost. Okay, improve ang performance. Okay. Something like that. Then it should be challenging and achievable in a reasonable time. Ayaw po pagpili o topic na pagkaugma, mahumanda yun. Ha? Muna, dili po, ka, dili po mo i-approve sa inyong advisor. Okay. Dapat katong igu-igura. And then don't, don't propose a, a topic na dili po siya achievable in a given time. Okay. From proposal to implementation or evaluation, one year man na siya, di ba? Sa ito ang uh, program. So, inyo pong i-consider nga it should be uh, achievable in that given period of time. Because there are some research na you need more years no, to complete. Sobraan mo ka-engross sa inyong topic. Iabinin nyo nga uh, 
uh, okay kayo, maayo kayo, kay gwapo kayo ang expected nga output, gwapo kayo ang uh, significance, but you miscalculate nga, dili din yung mahuman of one year. Okay? Kaya ba sinanguban na natin, hanglan pa ninyo siya ang incubation and it will take many months. So you have to consider. Okay? Aside from that, aside from the time, one important consideration also is the financial. Ayaw mo pag, ayaw mo pag uh, propose o research na yun know, nga kinadako kayo mo o magast. So, okay lang kung may funding. But normally, kamo may mo gasto. Okay? So basin mo na po na dayon ang inyong limiting factor kay mahal kayo ang fan, uh, mahal kayo ang mga mahal kayo ang mga parts. Okay? So that should be uh, also considered no in the initial phase. And aside from that, aside from the financial because it's possible that you can afford you can afford to purchase but the problem is on the availability. Basin i-order pa na siya sa US uh, gami uh, ipabricate pa na siya and it will take time so inyo gyapon ang i-consider the availability of the material para para smooth sailing ang inyo hang pagkandak from from proposal preparation to implementation of your project otherwise otherwise ang implication ana dapat makabalo mo ang implication ana there's a possibility nga dili mo mahuman dili mo maka graduate okay ana lagi na siya kasulutan and then uh, it should match the, your capabilities and interests. This is what I have uh, highlighted a while ago. Dapat ang inyong ipili na topic, uh, dapat mawin inyo yung interest. Ayaw mo pili na dili kayo niyo yung interest. Okay? Then also, i-match sa dinyo sa inyong capabilities. Okay? You have to ask yourself, what are my capabilities? Do I have some capabilities? Of course. Okay? Inyo man ang inyo man ang inyo man ang isadihan for four years or three years. Okay? Muna, nga, it should be aligned to your field. That's the very reason why ang imo topic should be aligned to your field. Because you're expected nga expert ka na or kabalo ka na, especially in the designing part. Okay? So, for example, if you're an electrical technology student, dapat ang imong focus it's more, it's more on the electrical nga component. Okay? If you're on the mechanical part, dapat ang imong design or ang imong topic focus on the mechanical component mechanical design okay kan nga mga design sa mga gears ay mga design sa shafting na mga design sa uh, power drive okay kung electronics ka ayo nag focus ato kay chances are maglisod jud ka okay pero kung kung EMT ka or electronics ka focus ka dito sa inyong field okay katong daghan yung subjects na gihatag sa imo kay you're expected nga aware ka na no that's why uh, namang gayuban nga for example i i observe sa mechanic as a met for example then ang ilahang proposal is more on the uh, electronic side okay gusto nila mo come up og device nga electronics wala gi ka mechanical mechanical akong pangutana ila ka subject imong electronics isa ra basic pag yun. But wala may magpugong. Labi na kong interesado kay ka. But you have to, double time, you have to study with your own. It's possible. Wala yung problema. Pero chances are, mag-resod yung ka. Kay, okay, mag-double time. Mag Katag yung subject na gihatag sa inyo para sa inyong topic. Okay? For example, mechanical ka, pero ang inyong topic is ni focus ka sa microcontroller. Niya, pila ka subject ang naghatag na niyo. Ano? Basit isa na ka buo. Basic pa yun. Wala pa na yung mga research ko on dia kay basic pa man. Okay, so that's that's part of the ano, that's part of the criteria uh, and uh, sa planning. Okay? Dapat i-consider na ninyo mo na nga ang ang technique yun diha, dapat magplan mo na dapat ay lead time. Okay? Dili kay dito na mo mag mag come up dayon sa uh, wala na yung time bitaw, manang mag-cram na mo. Muna, ang pinaka-best good nga time to come up with a good research topic is na sa technical research. Okay? Sa technical research, mga nga part, there is a third year, bagianin nyo tanan ba? Okay? So, ang pinaka- unta, ang pinaka-minimum nga requirement sa technical research is you can establish your direction. Bahalag, dili pa kayo uh, dili pa kayo enhance or filter ang inyong proposal but at least ang direction na anak. Anyway, you have still one year pa man. Okay? 
Pero kung wala pa gani kay research direction, dito na ka magungahuna sa fourth year niya pag propose pagid ni mo you found out nga na exactly similar uh, na hurot na imon time nagcram na ka then magkalitchilitchi na din yung kinabuhi okay. so mana nga as early as now na na mo yung direction then it should offer the opportunity for an original contribution so mana no nga na kay contribution by addressing the gap that is being identified mana valid to ang imong contribution dito sa field okay Ayun lang tong direct application niya na ano mga similar, no? Kung imo na siyang i-publish, chances are that will be rejected. Okay? Because ang una pangitaon, the moment you publish a paper, ang una pangitaon is what is your contribution or what is the contribution of this paper to the field. So dapat klaro na siya. Klaro. Okay, so what are the characteristics of a good uh, research? No? Ano man ta? Okay, so... Okay. So, di, di li man tanan gini mo mahimo, no? Kay sa kadako, sa scope. Okay, then limited imong time, limited imong finances. That's why you have to define properly. And all the limitations, all the scope should be properly defined under the scope and limitation. Dapat clearly defined na siya. Kung unsa lang tong scope, unsa tong way labot, that should be clearly defined. Para during during your presentation, during your defense, and then you will be uh, asked what's the impact or what's the effect of this or why is it that uh, you did not consider this? Then you can answer uh, that is properly defined under your limitation and it's ano na as long as na approve wala problema. Kung pangutanan mo o mga pangutan na outside the scope as long as it is properly defined in the limitation, then you will be safe. Okay, pero kung dili siya klaro, dili siya klaro sa imong limitation, ha? nagkan yung kayo nagpangutan. And then, it should be uh, clearly explained so that it can be reproduced and verified by other researchers. Kanayahang element of replicability, meaning pwede siya i-replicate sa other researchers. Sana siya ka-characteristic sa good research. Muna nga, as much as, uh, as much as possible, ligid na ninyo ipang doctor inyong data. No? <laughs> Fabrication of data is a cardinal sin no, in the field of research. Pero nagandiyan like, pong nagahimo ka na, no? kay dili, dili ang gina-expect na data ang ilang gina- ang nigawas, ni ilang gidoktor, kay siguro di feel nga di sila mo pass kung dili ito mo ay data nga nigawas or ilang gifabricate. Otherwise, it's not human. They have to redo. Okay, so it's 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 a very uh, bad bad habit. It's cardinal sin fact. Di man natin mo replicate if if somebody is interested in your work. For example, uh, it's a simulation. Like simulate ka, simulate ka mga stress, mga strain sa parts. Then imodit ng nade kay mga gifabricate at tingala na lang tong gusto mo. Uh, Sundog ato nga, di pagid mo gawas ang result. Di gid mo gawas, kay fabricated man dahil. That's why dapat tininood yun. Okay? Tininood yun ang imong data. Okay, so high ethical standards, then all element, all limitations be documented no are properly defined. Then data should be analyzed. So there are some tools, no statistical tools and techniques no in treating or analyzing data. And then it should be properly explained. So this this will uh, form uh, or this will be under your methods, not your methodology. So I think somebody will uh, discuss this further. And then all findings be presented unambiguously. Okay, meaning it is unambiguous, meaning uh, it is not open for it is not open for uh, more than one interpretation. Manang ambiguous, no? Meaning it ambiguous open siya for more than one uh, one interpretation. So dapat unambiguous siya. Meaning, isa na ganyang interpretation. Wala na siya possible uh, other uh, interpretation. So mana ang bantayan ninyo pag sulat ninyo sa inyong findings. And then, all conclusions be justified by sufficient evidence. So you have to limit your conclusions within the bound of the scope of your study. Ayaw pagbutang o conclusion nga wala niyong magihimo. Okay? Dapat ang mga conclusion should something should have something to do with the uh, realization of your objectives. Okay? 
That's why it's very important to formulate your objectives properly. Dapat ay mong objectives katong ginahimo ni mo sa mga study. Ayo pagbutag objectives nga wala ni mo gihimo. Okay? Ang uban nga mga students man maglibog sila no. Sometimes ang ang expected benefits or significance sa study ibutang nila sa objectives. So bantayan na ninyo. Dapat si objectives katong inyong ikanda, no? Formulation of objectives is very important. Okay? Considering that it will it, it will give direction, it will give direction to your study. Then ayun na kay nang specific na objectives kay otherwise dagan kay mo objectives, no? Siguro na lang mo itulo, dapat okay na lang tulo ang bangan ni doha lang. Kay specific ha, specific objectives pitulo pa. Tanan nga mga details and if there are some activities that you need to perform to realize that objectives dito na nasa methodology. Okay? That's why uh, in having your methodology it should be uh, crafted or it should be articulated in alignment with your objectives. Ha? Klaro na ha? Muna yung bantayan niya kay I think somebody will discuss about methodology. Okay? Dapat kung paingon ang paingon ka sa imong objectives paingon sa taguluan, dapat imong methodology paingon po sa taguluan. Ha? Na gina siya alignment dili kay paingon sa bulwa, na di gina sila mag align. Kay uh, si objectives is just a a statement, no? It's just a statement of what you are going to realize or what you intend to realize in your study. But how to realize that? How to implement that? Dili ni mo makita sa objectives. Makita na ni mo dito sa methodology. How to realize your objectives. Meaning, mo ni siya ang mga procedures. No? Mo ni ang mga tools. So, sa ni mo pag-realize yung objectives, dapat makita sa methodology. So, when I giingon nga, there should be a proper alignment no? sa imuhang objectives at sa imuhang methodology. So, mag-imong yung methodology, di lang pwede nga di ka mo balik kang objectives. Imuhang ginang i-check dito kung na tanan nga objectives nga imuhang gi gi yaw yaw diha na imuan ba nimo og procedure na imuan ba nimo og uh, detalye okay for example uh, you want to design a uh, you want to come up a machine so of course your first objective there is to design the machine okay so dapat sa imong sa imong methodology is about designing and then take note nga prior to designing it's possible that there are some activities that you need to conduct for example uh, assessment of the property that you, that, that you are going to treat with that machine. Imo man na, pwede mo na nimo i-appeal sa design nga component or pwede po na nimo i-appeal dito sa objectives but pwede na sa na nimo i-discuss na under sa methodology. Okay? For example, uh, na maghimo kag machine nga uh, kung i-feed nimo ang tae dito sa kabayo if you can come up with a process na imong input is tae sa kabayo then pagawas niya is harina na then that's a very good uh, study no grabe ang impact imagine di na ka magpalit og harina so dako ka siyang impact sa community mapabarato nimo ang pandesal okay aside from that you can address the waste management no mangita na lang kag tae sa kabayo that's the time ang tae sa kabayo mamumahal okay you can come up with that machine. Okay? So, inana, no? Uh, those are, those are mga, ano, inana nga mga, inana nga mga uh, thinking. By the way, in research, in research, walay, walay, walay bad idea, no? All ideas are welcome. In fact, wild ideas are welcome. Kana bang, uh, imposible ninyo giyon ako na welcome gina siya no kay diha man mga out of the box ideas no kay diha man magsugod ang ang invention okay out of the box no kung walay box mas maayo yung walay box na idea okay? so kinsa may kinsa may nag-expect nga mugawas si Facebook okay nga uh, that 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 uh, started with a wild idea Muna, kung mo, unahuna ganita nga base lang sa atong conventional nga thinking, na wagi tayo mahimo nga, wala tayo mahimo nga invention. Wala tayo, ma, wala tayo makaplagan. Pero, we want to challenge the status quo. Ano bang mga what if, what if, what if? 
Yeah, magsugod. No? Yeah, magsugod. Ito ang curiosity. That's why uh, I I encourage our faculty, our our advisors na kung may mga wild ideas, inyo ang ginang i-welcome. Okay? Walay, walay bad ideas. Bahala kung sana siya ka-wild, no? Mga out of the box. Normally, sa isa ka-grupo na yung mga inana ng asudyante. No? Okay. So, okay. It is based on the work of others. So, kanipod, no? Example. Dapat atong research should be anchored on the previous work. And that's basically the reason nga nung mag-literature search ka, nga nung nai-review of literature. Hindi pa hindi nga, may nga, ah, wala pa ni Nahimo. Wala, ako ka pa ni. Okay? Wala ko yung difference kay ako ka pa ni idea. So that's a very bad research. No? A high quality research should be anchored on the previous studies. Okay? Dapat magin na siya na reference Okay? Para makita ni mo ang continuity. Makita ni mo ang alignment. Na mawadin ni siya difference. Mawadin ni siya gap. Okay? And of course, it can be replicated. So as pre as as uh, previously discussed, na dapat ma replicate, dapat ma duplicate. So you should not fabricate data. It is it is based on logical rationality, then the wobble, then it will generate new questions or new problems. Kay in kalmera siya sa cyclical. Okay, that's the nature of research. The moment masod ni mo ang previous problem, that will generate a new problem. Hindi siya stop, no? Manang cyclical. Then, pag naanap po kayo solution, maadito na po na, monitor na po na siya, lahi na po niya problema. Okay? So, manang ay mga version 1, version 2, version 3, nga mga, nga mga device, no? Manang siya pasabot sa cyclical. Dili ka mag-stop. And of course, it is apolitical. Meaning, uh, wala involved na palit. Okay, so what's, what's a bad research? So, of course, that's the opposite of what have been presented, then uh, something when it simply is not to be found. And then, mangita kag something na digidi mo makita. <laughs> then this one, this is very bad. Plagiarizing other people's work. That's why nani mas software karon ng check, no? Nani mga I I think uh, tomorrow there there's there will be a presentation uh, related to this. So katong mga kuan dia mga katropa nato nga hilig kayo o copy paste. So you have to be you have to be ko ano uh, beware dito mga nang copy and paste because ma detect na siya no mailan na na karon kay na software ana the moment nga i feed na inyo ang document ana nga software and then it will uh, register or, or it will come up i i i uh, ano paning plagiarizing plagiarism check na ay na percentage nga 100% plagiarized so, meaning wala gi imo ato Copy na niyemo tanan, okay? So you have to practice how to how to make or how to articulate uh, sa manuscript no? you can do away with plagiarism. And of course, maniyakong gimension kanina ng no? fabrication or magdoctor. Eh, so magdoctor kay BS pa man. So do away with falsifying of data. Then misrepresentation. Okay, okay ganong kinalaman mata mag research. Of course, in your case, to get bachelors. Okay, or in the case of graduate courses or graduate programs, to get masters or PhD degrees. Requirement man, requirement man sa program, so wala kita yung mahimo. At yung gina siyang i-follow. Okay, isa lang, ganong na-inter man. Okay, so muna siya yung pinaka uh, short-term nga rason. Okay, but aside from that, that's why dapat i-extend na to ato ang purpose. Dili lang, ah, compliance mo. Compliance naman ni, kay requirement magod sa mga kurso. Compliance naman ni. Uh, mahuman lang ko ani goodbye gini research so we have to do away with that thinking okay we have to extend ato ang ato ang purpose okay na dapat makahatag ta sa atong share no our share in addressing the pressing problems of our society for example okay? kita nimo paggawas nimo dia sa ngamo sa USTP paggawas niyo sa gate utagbo dayon ang grabe ka abog abog kayo ang kon abog kayo ang dalan Basin amoy makita di ang solusyon. Okay, basin maka, maka propose mo og uh, possible topic. Okay, nga ma-address ninyo. Paggawas ninyo, daghan kayong basura. Okay, basin na ay paagi. Okay, so I just want to emphasize here. Okay, sources, no? Sources of problem. Kung sa may mga sources of problem. Okay, I think uh, during the previous presentation, one source is 
literature search no or review literature okay but kung dili gyud definite pa sa imong ulo kung sa imong gusto nga problema ya mag literature search ka lang mura kag nangita og dagom sa dagat okay mura na lang imong time pa kay nakita kay labi na dipud kakabalo mangita wala kakabalo sa technique unsa kon pagpangita okay or worst tungod sa kadaghan sa imong information wala na kung kakabalo kung sa imong problem na feel ba na ninyo so muna siyang information overload my suggestion is uh, in fact this is what i have suggested to the to my class no you have to be a vigilant observer sa sa palibot no it could be in your community it could be in the surroundings okay it could be in the sa bukid sa farm okay if we want to be our topics our research project to be uh, responsive no meaning responsive to the need of the environment or industry based or community based kung gusto kita nga community based ang ato ang topic na magi magi problema nga iyang isolve ang pwede na to buhaton mag-observe po problema mag-observe mag sa inyo uh, mag-observe sa inyo ang mga palibot nga pwede ninyo taga ag solution based sa inyo ang field Okay. For example, okay. Pag-adto ninyo dito sa something yung nagian, kita mo dito dagan kayong basura. Ah, you know, basura is a problem. No? It's, a, it's a global problem. So, ano may pwede ni mo mahimo as an EMT student, as a med student, okay? as an electronic student, as an electrical student, Kung sa may pwede mahimo. Mo na kong giingon nga dapat usbo na tong mindset. We should we should we should be uh, think we should we should think kana bang uh, unsa na uh, critical ba? Critical thinking. Dili kay ana masura ba. Mo gunay klarong mga tawo di ako bisig asa na ilabay. Sabi na bigi na masod sa LGU kay kay kanting basura. Na akuton man ako niya. Ana. So kung inanay mong thinking, wag ito yung mahimo. Pero kung ang thinking ni mo, pagkakita pa lang daan, sa kayo pwede buhaton ano ba? Para masolve na. Kasi na solution na na. Sa kayo mga pwede buhaton. Siyempre kung mechanical imong mechanical imong field, okay, kung mechanical ka, isa ka, isa ka solution na is, basin pwede ka mga mapin. Ang device nga pwede na siya i-process in, baka na siya move on to something like a reader. Imo baka siya gamiton for further as 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 a uh, as a new material no for a new product. Pwede man na siya mga plastics, okay? Or pwede baka na siya himo on og possible fuel, okay? Uh, pwede baka na siya alternative fuel, no? Imo baka na siya i-compress, no? Imo ang i-compress. So depende, pwede ba kana nimo isagol sa pagkaon basin pwede na siya i-recycle dayon may mong pagkaon. It's like dikoan, di ba? How to how to there's 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 e technology na ang ang tubig sa CR pwede imnon. So it's, it's the same concept, okay? Tungod sa kawadon sa tubig, unlike sa ato, no? But in some places, okay, in the world, na mga place dito nga lisod kay tubig. So ilang gihi mo ni come up sila ng technology nga basin tubig sa CR matreat nila in such a way nga after the process pwede imno. Okay? It's because of necessity and that is being done because of research. Okay, kung wala yung mga tao nga magunaho na ana. Ah. Dili so, gyud mo asin. For example, naka sa buki. Okay na to. Lisod kay so kaya yung tubig dito kay source sa tubig kay wala ni abot man ang dito wala ni abot si 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 nawasa wala ni abot wala say source of sin wala ay source of ganang mga natural kuan so unsa may pwede nimo buhaton as an electronic student as an EMT student basi na yung mga device okay basi makaka up kag mga device nga mo collect anang mga kabuntatan ng mga adlaw nga na yung mga tugnaw those are moisture no moisture man ako imo nang makollect then you have to store that something like that in fact may mga study ana okay but yes sir bi ana 
Kung ako na inana sir niya, nag-exist naman na sir, di wala, di research kay ingon man ka nga kung dapat wala pa'y diligid similar. Okay? So, exist, di ginagyapon sir. Di ginagyapon siya research. No. After ni mo ma-identify ang study, ay ang topic, for example, kapag ka device nga mo pinupino ato, no? mo pinupino. I just to you a concrete one. For example, na yung mga sags, kinsay doon sa banana plantation dire. I think I I think this is this is being proposed by one of our instructors. Ah, uh, banana plantation. Gusto niya i kanang mga daot nga mga protas, gusto niya i spread. Okay? Hello. Hello. I Nawala ka sir. Walang signal. Ah, uh, na nakamute ka sir kon. Sini tabo, share ko. Ah, okay. Sorry. Nana, nana, nana yung audio. Ana na sir, nana po dang ko answer uh, okay, presentation. Okay. okay, so balik ato, okay? Kaya para lang ma ma contextualize niyo ba. So for example, gusto niyo is red ang banana. So dapat nana may idea daan nga lisod kay is red ang banana tungod na yung mga tagok-tagok, no? So you should come up with a proper design of the blades, okay? Para sa mga mechanical na estudyante. So unsa yung buhaton? The moment na ma-identify na ninyo, ninyo nga, you want to develop a machine specifically to to shred, no? Or to slice banana para pwede siya yung feeds or depende mo on siyang sa bakaha for further, for further application. The next, the next step that you're going to do is inyohang bisitahon si literature. Kung sabay mga existing na device nga mo shred ng banana. Okay? But take note nga, you have now Uh, an idea in mind sa imong gusto buhaton. Okay, na nakay gusto buhaton. Dayon, imo ha dayon i validate imo ang triangulate sa literature. Unsa bay mga existing na? Based sa mga existing unsa bay mga limitation. Okay? Para ang imong i-come up nga device, sure ka nga dili gyud exactly similar sa mga existing. Okay, nako ninyo? I think that's a good approach also. Para sure ka, and then gusto gid ka nga ang imong ang imong buhaton nagi adpatuan, nagi problema nga i address. Okay? So I hope that's clear. Dili pud pwede nga kung naa kay ma-identify dili na nimo bisita ang sa literature. Of course, you have to visit the literature. Kay imo pa man ang i i your 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 idea into its proper perspective meaning tanaw ni mo unsa ba yung mga similar techniques unsa yung mga existing techniques unsa ba ka mo mo come up og device nga ma, ma for example ma, ma enhance or ma improve ni mo si performance no ma improve ng performance ma reduce ni mo ang cost so ang capacity ma ma, ma improve baka ni mo or depende depende kung unsa imong gusto okay so mo na share i hope i hope it's clear no i hope it's very clear Dili kay out of the blue nakakuha kag idea pero kakabalok ang asa siya gamiton. Okay? So we want we want to 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 be our project, our research project, our thesis to be responsive no to the need of the environment. That's one of the good ko especially yung kung kanabitang mag submit ta proposal for funding, for example mga DUST funding, dapat nagid tay nagid tay klaro nga problema nga ato so. In fact, nagani uban nga Uh, funding nga uh, dapat mo mo tie up ka o industry okay basically for that reason
Okay, so so these are ano, mga dapat uh, generate siya valid data, dapat purposive siya, dapat scholarly uh, it's a scholarly investigation meaning it's scientific. Dili kay magbuot-buot lang kag procedure. Nana siya ay scientific procedure. Okay, na kay sundon. For example, if you want to to devise or to, to come up with a device, of course you have to design. Okay? Mura bag come up kagbalay, of course na kay plano. Okay? The output of the design is the plan. It's not yet the device, no? It's the plan. Okay? So how will you make a plan? Di man ka makahimo og plan kung for example, you cannot make a mechanical plan of the device. Maglisod ka kung dili ka mechanical o makanyag mechanical design. O makakabalo sa on pagcompute sa torque, o makakabalo sa on pagcompute sa ratio sa gear. Okay? So muna kung mechanical ka dito ka mo focus sa mechanical design. Okay, dapat kabalo ka na. So ano mo pagpili? Wag kabalo sa material nga gamiton, magamit pa kag stainless steel, magamit pa kag ordinary steel. Unsa ba shafting, unsa ba diameter sa shafting? So diha mo kam mo kamit ang imong expertise as mechanical student. Pero kung electrical ka, nya ECE ka, dili ka dito mo, dili ka dito mo uh, focus kay dili man tumay imong iskulahan. Okay? Muna nga kung kinanglan mo come up with a complete nga device, you could you could you could come up with a multidisciplinary team. Dapat na i-team nga gikan sa mechanical, na i-team gikan sa automation, na i-team gikan sa electronics or sa electrical for that matter. Okay, so I I I, I hope I hope clear na na siya unless kung namay mga pangutana. Okay, so kanino uh, we should we should have to plan uh, properly. Ito na paspasan, no? Ang, ang, ang pasabot na ani is planning should be properly considered. No? It should be properly done. Ngunit ang planning, sa, dapat natay sakto nga preparation. No? Kung sa ba, kung sa ba mo execute, no? Execute sa to ang uh, action, no? It's actually program of action. So, importante kayo na siya. So, the idea of factors, personal factors and external factors. So, when you see personal factors, of course, this this is this are already mentioned uh, during our uh, a while ago. Interest, researchers' capabilities, technical and financial. Then, of course, a limitation. And of course, the size of the project. When you see external factors, mani siya katong mga novelty. Okay, unsa ba unsa ba mga uniqueness ani nga project? Unsa value sa research? No, available ba ang data? Available ba ang material? Eh, basin wala pa ni material, wala tayong magamit. No? So that's the critical mass. And of course, the direction of the college or the direction of the department. Normally, ang imuhang study should be within the direction of the, of the, of the department. On direction sa department is more on uh, coming up with uh, mga micro, uh, microcontroller base. Uh, so dito po ka. Okay? Para, para attune siya or align siya sa direction. So if, if the direction is more on uh, fabricating prototypes, so dito sa ka. Okay. So mona ni no, uh, it'll just provide you i material para ini na lang din ni go over. Economic capability or size or so, say mga pasabot ani ni uniqueness. So dapat naagi chain novelty. You cannot you cannot claim for patent invention or UM kung dili nimo ma kung dili nimo ma establish imong claims. Claims gani mo tong imuha imuhang trabaho katong pag-address nimo sa gap that's your claims no in the language of uh, patent mo na ang imong claim that's why you need to establish your prior art no ang prior art mo na siya ang mga existing studies existing device so mo ba na ang imong purpose sa imong review of literature take note na si si technical re uh, si research o si uh, patent basically pareha na sila but the language is different Lahi yung language. Pero parihara na siya. Especially technical research. Okay. Si prior art, mauman na imuhang kuhan. Mauman na ang imuhang, imuhang existing. Di ba? Yan yeah, imuhang i-base. That's why you have a claim. Ang claim, imuhang solution. Solution sa imuhang identify na problem. Sa gap. Okay? Uh, okay, important points in planning. Okay, so you have to consider the availability of materials. Consider your interest, consider your skills, your capabilities, and limitations. So, why mo pag propose nga, provide mo solution sa COVID, no? Kay dili man na inyong trabaho. Unless kung machine. So, kung mga biological 
na solution ayo mo anak kay di man na inyong skills otherwise gusto lang mo problema na gusto mo nga di mo graduate ano na siya okay so study all angles this is what i mean no study all angles as possible from the start mo na ginan tanaw so worst case scenario okay ayo ka ng mga excellent case good case given na okay but you have to consider all work worst worst case scenario what if dinhi mo abot what if mo palpak ni siya so you consider na nimo din basin di ko ka graduate kay basin di ko basta mo ahuma okay mo na siya pa sabot no so it will be turn back no when the foreign resources have already been expanded labi na imong mga tugo mga singot nga imong ang gikwan only to find out na mangita ra man nay kaglain kay wala nimo na consider at start that's why you have to consider all angles in your study how proper planning okay so it is better to be slow but sure sao man ang paspas pero mali mali haste makes waste di ba kung pagdali dali daw la palpak ra gyud ako Okay, so as mentioned, it's very important in the execution of research, okay, and it is manifested in the research proposal. So, kami mga instructor or inyong members sa panel sa sa mo 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 examine sa inyong proposal. Pag tanda lang damo na mo dan sa sa proposal sa kapis yung proposal, may balan na mo dito kung inyo ba kung sakto ba yung planning or inyo ba yung gidalik dalik. Ba dito mga copy paste. Karo kayo, di ba? Kay mo maglain pa kay English mo na magguapo kayo. Di pa gid wa pa gid natanggal ang ang hyperlink kay di man kay balo matanggal. So na appeal pa gid copy ang hyperlink. Okay. So mana no so you have to you have to uh, consider uh, all of those. Okay then you have to to monitor is probably have to define the problem first. So as mentioned the most difficult but the most important part is the definition of problem. Okay. So kana kay problem nga Searchable is 70% solved. Sure, na kamo gawin. Okay, so if there is no problem, there could be no research. There could be no research process. Magina yun talaga. So at the start of the after your after your presentation and proposal, normally ako pangutan na what's the problem? Hindi na nsa ka, hindi na nsa ka tubag. Dagan kaya siya baga kayo ang iyang manuscript. Pero kung pangutan ni mo kung sa problem, hindi na explain. Okay, actually na. Para good to do this. Take note: if there is no problem, there could be no research process. Okay, research should evolve out of the problem. Meaning, meaning common sense gina. Okay, common sense ngayon hang ma magina yun ano yung ma discuss ang problem na gusto niyo yung isolve. Okay. Okay, so mana nesha. Okay, these are just some sources now. These are already mentioned. Uh, so I, I just want to emphasize that not all problems are researchable. Okay, so so tuo na lang mo, okay, para tama dali. For example, na ina maligya di ako an, na ina maligya di ako ginamos. Dagan kaya siya ko an, dagan kaya siya o ah uh, soki, as kaya hindi man. So kaproblema na siya niya matrak sales, yahang pag order, so kasi po. Kung ay nag-offer siya, himuan siya o uh, inventory system sa iyong ginamos. Okay. Pangutana, is it a researchable problem? Siya ito ba? Researchable problem lang na siya kung ang imong system, dili siya the same sa mga existing. Pero kung exactly similar siya sa mga, mga sa existing na mga system, okay, wala. Wala yung bag. Oh, wala yung contribution. Okay, do na solve mo ang problem sa tagya sa ginamos, na solve mo yung problema, but it will not follow nga researchable siya. Dapat klaro na sa ako ha, bala kung sa kagamay, hindi naman kinanglan nga dako ni kayo ang mga kalainan, dako ni kayo mga contribution. Uh, sa for BS, for BS program, hindi ni kinanglan na dako. But kung dako na ka magtaas yung level, kung sa mga nakasama masters, dapat mas dako pa ka sa BS sa mga ang ang imong ang ang kalalo mo no ang depth pero kung na naka sa PhD or doctoral dapat mas dako okay na, na dapat ang pag-approach no it, 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 it it's more on the contribution contribution to the field okay so kung naman na guba na imo hang lababo diha problema man na pero wala na pasabot nga researchable na siya okay 
So, dapat klaro sa inyo kung ano sa ba mahimong researchable ang isa ka problem. Or paunsa ba siya himuong researchable. It's possible nga na siya yung mga existing solution but you can make it researchable by providing possible or alternative solutions nga wala pa na itabo. Actually, mo ito siyang gap. Mo itong gap na inyo hangi. So. Okay, so characteristics you have here and then uh, preparing uh, this is now on the preparation of research proposal i think this is all, this was discussed no and i think this this will be discussed more no on the succeeding uh present, presentation no, or presenter so what i just want to emphasize here is this uh your research proposal is someone is somewhat a sales talk okay mura siya sales talk nimo ba to buy or support for the conduct of the research whether it is to be funded or not in your case it's not for funding no dili kay mo kan sa funding but it's possible because uh, there are some funding uh, funding opportunities even in our institution mo fund naman ta mga student but ang ang pinaka main purpose ninyo is para mo makumply sa requirement okay so mo na sell stock ninyo mo na i-convince niyo ang panel i-convince niyo ang adviser ang panel na para mo mubuhi og patay ba so that's why you have to come up with a proposal that is convincing that is strong Hello, it seems that our hello, speaker... Hello, hello, Len. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I missed my phone. So, uh, I, I have a problem with uh, connection. No? So, Nawala na, sir. Okay, okay naman. Patapos naman to siya. I'm, I'm using my phone now. Okay. Ah, Nakaroon na siya. Yes, yes, yes. Your screen. Sige, sige. Uh... Murag, napalong ka, sir, kay Gaulan. <laughs> Ah, okay. Ning, ning, ning taligsik din ni Sero. Ning kusog na ni Unya, taod, taod. So, so, okay, so basically, okay, so basically, uh, uh, I, 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 I think, I think there's, there's no need to uh, discuss uh, the, the preparation of our resources because considering uh, this will be tackled no, in our next discussion, in, our, in the next presentations, no, or yeah, yeah, I think, I think there's, there's no need to discuss on research proposal, proposal considering uh, this will be tackled in our succeeding discussions or si Frank discuss man sa dili. Okay, so thank you for listening. Unless if you have some problem, I... Unless, Unless you, have you have some questions, no? Uh, Pwede ra, no? So, naunta ni mga... But you can you can have this, you, you can have a copy of the presentation as your reference. Okay, I I, I also... Okay, so, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Salamat kayo for sharing to us. Uh, ang 
mga students na to, na ba sila yung mga pangutana? Guys, if you have question, it's your chance now to ask uh, Dr. Namoko. So, dili ni siya permintino nga na atay uh, speaker or na si sir sa ato uh, para mag-discuss. So, uh, it's better that you take this opportunity to ask questions sa mga nalibga ninyo nga wala mo na klaro. Especially sa akong EMT students, please. Kaya dili, baya na to uh, faculty si sir sa manufacturing via siya. So, mas maayo nga mangutana ta. Sige na, go ahead. Uh, pwede rin na po din yung isulat diri kung maulaw mo. Dali na guys, kay uh, Basig Maniud to na si sir. <laughs> Basi nang ilang question, nabay pa ni Udto. <laughs> sir, sorry Wala kayo sir. sir. Wala gi kuan. Wala yung budget ang or. Because it's, it's, it's past 1 na, past 12 na. Oh, Sige oh. lang kay mag, okay naman i, kung na yung mga question, you just, you just inform me. So i-type na lang siguro. Naraman tapo. Because antun pa man yung ugma, di ba? Okay na, okay na siya. Kaya pa sige pang gutom na sad na ang atong mga participants. Sige, sige. Thank you, okay. Sir Con. Salamat tayo. Thank you, tayo. thank you everyone. Thank you everyone. So, thank you so much, Sir. Um, I don't know what to say. Salamat kayo for this um, uh, time that you uh, provided gihatag ni mo sa amo for this uh, event. And hopefully, um, delira ni siya ang event no nga may tabo ni karon hopefully sa sunod na pod na ana pay ngani nga event kay syempre uh, this will really help our students especially sa lang research sa herbal limtano ni sila so i will be recording gi record mo ni siya i will be uploading this video so katong gi pang share ni sir pwede ra gud ninyo siya ma-open anytime i will upload this one sa vid sa youtube or even sa tong facebook page so salamat kayo sir thank you so much and um hopefully nga nakatabang dito sa inyo no especially sa mga third years karon when they kuan uh, start na sila ng thesis pagka next sem salamat sir and uh, okay okay sige sige thank you sir and uh, later we'll start by 1 pm everyone uh, balik lang mo niya i'm going to stop recording and then next speaker na to si sir Jerry for patent search Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.